it needs to have the foundation there for it to actually stitch out um, and, and not pucker up to give you the best results. So that is the key thing. So I think when we talk about the features of this machine, it's one of those key things. The, the combination that you've got of the machine, the sewing machine, the software, and the size of this um, hoop as well. It's a phenomenal bundle, phenomenal bundle as well. And this is, I mean, we've been using it predominantly in its embroidery sense, because to be fair, that's, I think, the way that many of you would be utilising this. You're thinking about an embroidery machine, which is why you're going for this particular machine. But of course, the beauty is, you can use it for your sewing as well. I'm just keeping an eye on my thread. I'm paying a bit of thread roulette at the moment, and I'm not going to win this one, I can tell. We're getting down to the last bits of the thread. But I can change the thread over, that's not a problem. I've got another spool in a moment. But I mean, this could be a case that you've got a machine that's not too good. We're getting onto the brickwork now, so the machine has slowed down because it will accommodate for what it needs to do. You'll probably see some of that actual brickwork coming through in a few moments, so the density of stitches is going to be there. So yeah, I mean, this is one of those machines that, who's gone on a Viking? I know people that have got machines that they've had for decades, um, 50 years, 60 years, 70 years. They are machines that you can rely on. They are pioneers within the sewing machine industry as well, so they come up with lots of different features. Things like the sewing advisor that's been built on this machine that are features that they have developed and they've incorporated because it's what we need. So the sewing advisor will help you get all the right settings, whatever type of fabric you are working with. But ultimately, if you're using this just for your embroidery and the capabilities that you've got within that software, because don't forget, I don't know if we can bring the software um, up. Oh, I haven't gone a minute. I've got um, my laptop. This design that it is stitching out was something that I actually designed on the software earlier on. So we're seeing the results of it stitching out. That is what I created earlier on. So there you go. It's now stitching out what I made. That didn't exist an hour ago. That is something that I made, I created. So it's my own design and that's the beauty. I mean, this is stitching out. Now, when it actually gets to the point that the thread has run out, it will stop. It will allow me to change that thread should I want to continue. But I'm going to let it carry on just for a few moments and I'm going to actually take it off the machine so you can see what it's done so far. And that's the key thing. Um, you need to know that it's going to stitch out those beautiful stitches, not only on the front but also on the underside because ultimately that is where the telltale sign is as well. So right. I'll let it stop in just a few moments. So let me just press stop. And if you want to stop at any time, you've got your little stop, stop start button here. So you just press on that and that will stop it, like so. I'm gonna take the hoop off. I'm gonna cut my little threads there. I'm gonna take the hoop off because I want to show you that brickwork. Because this is the key thing. Now, obviously when we're actually working with this, I would go back in with my snips so I would go in and I would take away these fluffy bits, which are really irritating me, but I can literally snip those away. So there you go. Ignore that, we tidy that up. But you can see here, we've got the applique. I would snip away those bits that we've got there, but have a look, that is the brickwork. That is the brickwork that we were talking about. And that's the key thing. I created that as a fill for that letter E that we made as well, using the font that we've got on the computer. And I turned, turned the angle as well. It could have been straight across if I wanted to, but it's so many different possibilities. That is the key thing. And as I say, we haven't got as long to chat about this machine as I would like to. There's other things we need to tell you, but please rest assured if you're investing in this machine, you are investing in a machine that you're going to be using for many, many years to come. I know there's lots of people that have taken advantage of this, so thank you. We started off with a lot more machines than we have left. And bear in mind, this is a machine that you might not be able to see again this side of Christmas. Now, if you're wanting to get hold of this, we have four opportunities left. They are ready to go.
So they will be sent on their way to you for, can you believe, £3.95 pence your post and packing. They'll be sent to your home. You'll be able to put it all together. Maybe it's a Christmas gift and you want to wait. Oh, my goodness. I admire your self-control if that's what you're going to do. But once you open it up, you have got a machine that not only has a comprehensive range of sewing stitches in there, it also has the capability of stitching out in the hoop designs like this that are included within the design that you could go on and actually put onto clothing. I mean, if you consider the size of that hoop, that would fit very easily across the back of a denim jacket, wouldn't it? So you could create a design or a dressing gown or tote bags. Personalization is key. But that area that you have got is way bigger than the standard area you would possibly be finding in a sewing machine in this price bracket. Rather than that four inch area that we've got there, but then you have got that 240 by 150 area that you've got. Now we are going to be saying goodbye to you for a little while. We're going to be looking at some William Morris fabrics, but I will warn you that we have got more people with this in their baskets than we have available. We only have four. Um, in fact, we've got three times as many in, in baskets as we have available. So it's going to be fastest finger first. And I know you will be waiting to the end of the show because it's one of those things. It's not just a snap decision. It's one of those things that you're looking at. Will I make the most of it? Yes, you will, because it's a sewing machine as well as embroidery. Will I have the support? Yes, you've got me. I am here at Sewing Street. I'm not going anywhere. I'm on social media, so I can help you. But also, who's Husqvarna Viking? They have got the support in the UK to help you as well, so you're not left in your own. What about looking after you? Well, it's a five-year warranty, so you know that you've got that support and that confidence within a machine for five years. And are you going to be able to grow with this? Well, you will, because you've got the software which will enable you to start creating your own embroidery designs. Now, it's not a digitizing software, so if you want to do things like logos, then my, and I do this myself, I've got the, the, the all bells and whistles software at home, but digitizing is such a difficult thing to get into. I find it easier, and if you need any help with this, just shout to actually get somebody who knows their stuff about digitizing pay them 20 quid they will create the design for you it's your design to replicate and you do the fun bit you just stitch it out don't give yourself a headache of being here kind of making all of those different features so that is the jade 35 i love it I mean, my passion hopefully has come across with this one. Um, I've loved it from the moment I got, in um, got involved with it way, way, way back. And it's continued to be one of my favourite machines. And I, it's a machine you can have confidence in. I think that's the key thing. So I'm going to leave those details with you. Um, we're going to have a short break. Um, thank you to everybody that's checking out your baskets. I, I know that they're going through now because I'm hearing it in my ears. So I'm going to say goodbye to you for the next few minute, moments. We're going to come back with some beautiful William Morris fabrics. And uh, yeah, I'll see you the other side of this. <laughs> Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harbour. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try. There's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hello there and welcome back. Well, that was 
was a whistle stop hour, wasn't it? But we're going to get all calm and surreal in this hour because we are talking William Morris fabrics. And it's brilliant because we've got loads of different ways for you to get involved. I'll be introducing you to a fabulous bundle in just a few moments, but we've also got things um, like your silk um, finish with these, your satin finish with these. We've got your velvet finish. We've even got some fabulous products that are going to be perfect as Christmas gift for William Morris fans as well. But we don't have huge quantities and we've only got half an hour because we got involved with that J35, so sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. Now, I have to tell you that this bundle that we've got here is the last opportunity to get hold of this bundle. So we're looking, uh, we're in the realms of um, single figures almost with this one. So yeah, just to warn you on this one. So this is a lovely bundle. So all of these gorgeous fabrics are going to be coming to you if you're shopping for this. In fact, I'll turn them over because I don't want you to see, well, you can see the different labels on there, but it just makes it, it spoils my look. It spoils how pretty it looks on the screen. So all of these are coming to you. Classic, classic William Morris. And it's from the Buttermere Collection, which is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got those classic tones. You've got mixtures of those mustard tones, the bright terracottas in there. But also you've got things like your blue in there. Um, I love that one there with that just kind of almost like a two-tone design, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. But obviously you've got the complexity of the William Morris designs there as well. So all of these coming to you. Now you've got half meters of each of these and the price on your screen as if you're only paying for three and a half of them. So that is the beauty of this. And they're big size pieces with these. So shall I hold one up to show you? So this one, I mean this one, you can see there you've got obviously the authenticity with you've got the, um, on the, um, the salvage, I couldn't think what the phrase was for a minute then. Just popped out of my head. So you salvage. Do keep these because if you're making things and you are utilising um, your William Morris fabrics, then you could actually be using that as your authenticity if you wanted to. So this one is called Bellflowers. I'm going to hold this one up so you can see the piece that you've got. Now, they are pre-cut bundles, so if you do go for multiples, they will already be cut. So do bear that in mind. But we have got some cut from the roll coming up in a little while. Now, I will warn you, we're down to single figures with these. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, the quality is fabulous, isn't it? We love our William Morris fabrics. And this one is a beautiful one. Um, a lovely bundle. Um, really nice bundle. So you've got four and a half meters, sorry, four meters in total. You're only paying for three and a half meters. But it's just a nice little bundle. Now, it's the only 100% cotton um, bundle that we've got on the show so if that is it, um, in William Morris print today in this show I mean obviously there's others on the website but as a bundle that's all we've got we have got quilt kits that have got 100% cotton in but if you're shopping for a bundle then this is the only one that we've got to share with you as well so absolutely beautiful as you can see absolutely gorgeous throughout um, and quite often you can kind of eke out the use of a bundle by adding in your planes and we have got some William Morris um, planes that are going to eke them out in fact I'm going to go for is this the, is that the Buttermere planes oh okay right might be the one at the front there yeah to be honest almost any of these now i'm going to hold on to these just for a minute just to show why you should be adding these in because when we're looking at these fabrics so you've got your yellow now your yellow is featuring within that little flower print that we've got sorry moving across there the little flower print that you've got there it's also within this lovely kind of sage tone that you've got there that lovely green it looks quite a bright green but when you actually team it up with some of these classic sage greens it complements them beautifully that gorgeous blue that is going to work alongside that one as is the light blue because it's complementing it as well so it's a really nice bundle so the details on your screen now offer this complementary bundle now this is giving you the ability to get the same weight of fabric that we've just been looking at but getting it as a complementary bundle to extend the usability of any of your William Morris fabric. So £15.95, you've got two and a half metres, which I think is phenomenal. I mean, William Morris fabrics, to be paying... 15, I mean, 15 95 you you'd probably be looking, I mean, even if you were looking at 12 99 for one metre, so that works out to what? Three pounds and... Three pounds and 19 pence, wow. And the quality is beautiful. I've not seen these before, I have to say. But the quality is amazing. I mean, there's no light coming through that at all. So you can see the quality of that. And it's just a beautiful fabric. 
absolutely gorgeous. So if you do like your solid colours, um, then yeah, I'd definitely go for these. That is that particular bundle, but we have got a few others as well. So I might take you through some of those. See, this next one I think would work well again. And this has got a lovely one. Now, I don't know if this is from Buttermere. I'm not sure. So, oh, now we've chosen this one. This is one that we've kind of put together ourselves. So top marks for whoever did that. But can I just say, Ben, you got the perfect colouring for that last bundle as well in this one. So I suppose it just depends, doesn't it? Depends on which one you're wanting to go for. You've got more of that classic green in this one. And of course, the dusky pink we regularly see. And we've also got that gorgeous, almost like a deep teal. Um, that lovely pale blue, which kind of borders on a, the, the edge of a grey blue, I suppose you could say with that one, which is lovely. Duck egg blue is probably a good description. The lovely dove grey in there, I mean, that is gorgeous. And that lovely kind of creamy oatmeal tone beautiful bundle again it's the quality that you've got with the really morris flames it's um, is the key thing so this one put together with a granada is that how you say granada 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 i'm not sure but uh, excuse me on my pronunciation if i got it wrong um but three and a half meters 22 pounds and 53p which is beautiful so that is that bundle um so that is a lovely one but we've got another little one to share with you as well. And this is a lovely one because, again, this works well with the one that we've just looked at, that, um, the, the patterned one. So you've got classic, classic terracotta in there, as you can see. Beautiful, gorgeous, almost emerald green within this one. And I do apologise if this is a bit of a whistle-stop tour, but we have spent um, a bit of time on the Jade 35 because uh, it needed a lot of time. And, uh, yeah, it means we've only got half an hour and we're, we've only got about 20 minutes, so, yeah beautiful um, again these are going to complement that bundle that we've just looked at it doesn't matter which of those you go for to be honest um i think i like this one see each time i look at them i just like the, this one better than i like the last one but yeah it's a difficult choice guys um but what you do know is you've got a brilliant value for me this one's got four meters in there 26 pounds and 53 pence Obviously, a half metre of each one of these, so giving you incredible value for money. I think we were looking at, was it £3.19 pence in the last bundle? I don't know how it works out with this particular one, but you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. £3.31 pence per half metre, so yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, you don't have to use it with you, William Morris don't have to do you you can use it i mean they're, they're very um on trend colors aren't they i mean those blues they're going to complement many other fabrics you might have things like um your uh i don't know liberty prints that you might want to use easier to support because from that era it's a very classic kind of range of colors isn't it so absolutely brilliant whichever way you use them to be fair um but rest assured in the knowledge that you've got quality i'm going to hold the lightest one up because this is where i want to try and show you because this is important to me as a sewer the fabric itself now if i was to hold up a lesser quality fabric you would be able to see me through that easily you can't see me i'm still here <laughs> But also as well, you can't see, I mean, the strong colours that we've got of the, the, um, the screen behind me, I've got a dark shirt on. If anything was going to show through, you would see that very, very easily with a lesser quality of fabric. But no, not with you, William Morris. You know that you've got that gorgeous, gorgeous value for money, not only as the quality as well. Sometimes when we look at the value for money, we think that it's a lesser quality fabric, but not here at Sewing Street. It's our buying power. That's the beauty of it. So, nice bundle, if you like the look of that. Again, good value, um, or good amount of fabric, should I say. Four metres, might be that you're using that um, to, to create quite a blocky quilt, which you could do very easily. So, like that one a lot. Where should we go next? Oh, the velvet. Have you seen the velvet yet? Oh, it's beautiful. Now, where is it? It's at the front, I think. Oh. See, when you first look at it, you don't know that it's velvet. But, oh my goodness, you can kind of see there's a bit of, of a sheen to it. Now, have we got these as individuals? Right, okay, classic, classic. We have got this one, incidentally, we have got this one also as your, um, is, it the, the, is that the faux silk one that we've got there? Oh, we've got it in the viscose as well. So that's your faux silk, that is your um, viscose, and that is your, that is brilliant. We're doing all different styles. Oh, I like it like it 
Now, these are all cut from the bolt, so you can order your individuals. So let's look at them as individuals. So this one has got that light tone to it, which is beautiful. I mean, classic. $7.99 for a half metre. Now, dare I say, as soon as I start thinking about velvet, I start thinking about cushions. And a William Morris cushion cover, you could at least make one front and back. I probably wouldn't because I'm stingy. I just use me William Morris on the front. But you've got half a metre there. So if we consider, let's have a look, that's going to be your half metre. So that would be your cushion cover potentially. Let's just bunch that up underneath. There we go, to give you an idea. So that's potentially, that is a big cushion cover. I know it's kind of all lumpy bumpy. But you have got the ability to do three cushion fronts of that size. Now, I bet if you go out and you do your research, if you are looking for a William Morris cushion cover, if you could find one, you're probably talking between 35 and 40 pounds, already made up easily. But it could be that you have to actually order it to be made. So then you take, you're looking in your realms of your 45 to 50s, aren't you really? Even for a simple cushion. But you could be making three cushion fronts for 7 99 because I think it's 150, is it 150 wide this one, Ben? Am I right in thinking that? So you've got three of those 50 centimetre cuts in there. So it could be one and a half cushions because obviously if you do in front and back, then you're going to use two pieces, that third piece you would use again. But if it was a case that you're going for a full metre, so increasing your quantities, that's actually three complete cushion covers for 15.99 there or thereabouts it's worth thinking about isn't it and that's across all of the different velvets so that one is your even load which is beautiful that lovely light tone so i'm going to move that one to one side might be that you want something with a smaller print well i can help you with that one so this one is a lovely one um, small repeat so if you are creating things that have got a smaller finish to them this one is beautiful so this one is your clover mural not Muriel, although she's lovely. Um, so, yeah, beautiful small print. So, again, if you are just wanting to utilise this, maybe you've got a plain velvet and you're wanting to use that as a feature, as a bias on the edge, or an applique piece in the centre of a dark um, navy or something. We have got velvets as well. It's beautiful. And to be honest, I mean, this could be... Well, it depends, how, depends what size you're making it, really, I suppose, and the quantity that you need. could be a little skirt that you're making. You could go for increased quantities of these and make it into a jacket. It could be that this is featuring as a panel or on a sleeve or something like that. You don't have to use it as a garment in its entirety, but it's entirely up to you how you use it. Okay, I don't know how much light would come through a lampshade cover, but you could try it. If you want a dimly lit room, <laughs> potentially. Um, another one that we've got for you here is beautiful. It's got that gorgeous kind of mustard tone in here as well. So this one's a nice one. This one's actually got that um, kind of like a, a beautiful deep tone in there, that claret tone in this one as well. So this is a really, really nice one. Um, again, it's a classic, classic look, isn't it? William Morris Fabrics. I mean, you just spot it a mile off, can't you? Absolutely beautiful. And that one is your golden lily. And you can see there, those lilies coming through all across. So brilliant. Again, three cushion fronts, very affordably at 7 99 Increase your quantity to double the quantity and you could make three complete cushion covers very easily utilising that one. But I think this is the one that we love most, isn't it? This is your classic. Then I nearly, I, <laughs> I, I introduced this as Strawberry Thief, which it is. I mean, it's, it's kind of probably the, the most famous of his designs, isn't it? For some reason, I said they look like raspberries last time I was on there, which of course they're not the strawberries. But <laughs> it could be a raspberry thing. Beautiful design, absolutely gorgeous. Again, making your cushion covers from this. Can you imagine making three beautiful cushions utilising it? I'm tempted to get this one ourselves, but do you know what? I know that our sofa, the dogs jump all over it, and I think it broke break my heart to see them jumping on the top of a, a William Morris cushion. <laughs> so there we go. But I might still go for it because it's gorgeous. Um, $7.99, half metre, cut from the bolt. So if you're wanting to go for more than that, you can do. But, I mean, that would be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so what was that? A fabric named after our Levi, did you say? The, the Pano Chocolat thief. <laughs> I love it. Oh, dear. 
That is brilliant. <laughs> See, I would be a, um, a macaroon thief. That is my, I do like a little cheeky macaroon. Or is it a macro? I always get mixed up with the, um, the uh, kind of uh, pronunciation. But there you go, your strawberry thief. Beautiful. I love these. That's the conversation we're having in my ear now. <laughs> what would I be? You'd be a calico thief, would you, Ben? <laughs> Calorie free, though, isn't it? So you're all right. <laughs> now, I'm talking about those gorgeous prints. I mentioned about the different ways that we've got hold and that you can get hold of these. So many of these are also available as your faux silks. So this could be a garment that you're making. This is where you would need to increase those quantities, unless you're making something as simple as a fabulous scarf. I mean, you could do an infinity scarf with this, couldn't you? Wanted to, and it'd make a fabulous gift. I mean, can you imagine a faux silk scarf in William Morris fabric? for five pounds and 49 pence. If you make some of those up and actually give them to your friends and relatives, they'll think that you spent way more than that on a Christmas gift. Of course, the beauty is, is a polyester. So of course you can throw it into the washing machine. You don't have to worry about some of the things that you might have to worry about if you're working with silk, but it would just make an absolutely beautiful scarf for somebody, wouldn't it? Gorgeous. Now we've got a variety of different ways you can get hold of this one, kind of different designs. So again, some of the ones that we looked at a few moments ago. Oh no, that one looks like it's uh, no, that one's the uh, the um, oh what was it? Not the, was it the poly rib? the clover mural? That's the silk one. I've got it into a different pile. So there you go. So that's the silk one. So that is beautiful. Again, if you like the look of that one, if you want to look at it on a larger scope, then obviously you can do. And again, it's another one that would make a nice scarf. I mean, the colours in this one. I mean, you could wear, or a cravat. What about, a, Ben, you could rock a cravat, couldn't you? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? You could have a little cravat. You could have almost a little bit tucked in your top pocket of your jacket. Or maybe, I mean, we're getting into party season. Could be a little dicky bow you could be making with this. On elastic or tie it, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Levi in a pair of silk trousers with his pan chocolate. Now, there's a vision, isn't it? At least you could kind of, uh, he'd be all slippery and slidey, wouldn't he, with those on? <laughs> beautiful. I mean, look at that as a scarf. Absolutely beautiful. Five pounds and 49 pence. It's gorgeous. So that's that particular one. Um, oh, classic. Navy. I mean, a navy blazer. Navy blazer with a little scarf. Again, if you're at work and you find yourself sitting underneath that, um, oh, the air conditioning, which is always the case, isn't it? You're either freezing or roasting, one or the other. But this is beautiful. So again, a classic look. Classic look. You've got that gorgeous, almost like denim blue. Behind that, you've got your navy. So if you're wearing it as a, alongside a navy jacket or a navy dress. But look at this. I mean, the drape that you've got from this, if you're making a dress from it as well, beautiful. Five pounds and 49 pence. The optimum amount of fabric that I tend to find when I'm speaking to sewers, if they're looking at making garments, is three metres. So you could go for three metres. Make yourself a William Morris dress. Oh, beautiful. Or maybe use this as a lining. Oh, you could potentially use this as a lampshade cover. Yes, you could do. Ben just wants a William Morris lampshade. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful so that one's a gorgeous one as well um back to the strawberry thief again classic 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 as well so this is beautiful beautiful absolutely gorgeous isn't that beautiful absolutely again the drape that you've got beautiful making that into a scarf again i mean beautiful an inf infinity scarf with that oh classic look you look like you should be shopping in kensington wouldn't you but then you paid five pounds and 49 pence for your scarf how amazing is that i mean you've got those that, those big posh shops i mean things like liberties and places like that where if you were to go and buy a meter of the or half meter of this and make a scarf you, i'm sure you'd be paying a lot more than we're bringing it to you here but equally so if you went to buy a scarf that is a william morris scarf can you imagine and if infinity scarves are so easy to put together love it so there you go that one is your strawberry thief and then the last one that we've got with you which is now this one's the lilies but i forgot the golden lilies that's it i couldn't remember what color we were calling it 
So there you go, golden lilies. It's beautiful. And the sheen, did you notice the sheen as I was showing you that as well? Look at that. Oops. Got the little sticker there sticking to everything. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, look at that. Can you imagine that as a garment? Oh, or a scarf. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. So there you go. Again, £5.49. I don't know how we manage it. I really don't know. Really don't know. Um, going for the other extreme as well, we have got your kind of upholstery fabrics as well. So if you are looking at upholstering footstools, we've got your tapestry fabrics. I mean, these are fabulous if you wanted to make your bags as well. I always think of Mary Poppins when I see bags that are made with these. So this one, um, Snakehead Deluxe, this particular one, £7.99, half metre again, really weighty. Really, really weighty, that one. Perfect for making those gorgeous bags, tote bags and things like that. So that's that one. This is a nice one as well. If you like the simplicity of colour with William Morris, because sometimes there's a lot going on with the fabrics, isn't there? With this one, you can see the willow bow is giving you those beautiful, beautiful contrast there between those gorgeous leaves there and the stalks so all of the fabrics i think that we've covered all of the fabrics in their entirety we've got loads to share with you as well um obviously i was chatting with you a little bit earlier with regards to the jade 35 so yeah the jade 35 just to give you an update on this one um it's been a popular one lots of you've gone on and checked your baskets out in the break and obviously during this show um we may touch on it again a little bit later on um but yeah there's only three left only three left, and we've still got 14 people with them in baskets, so you're probably doing your own research, which is fair enough, totally get that. But uh, I will be back talking tools at um, 11 o'clock, so if you've got any questions relating to it, Get them in to me at that stage and I will be able to chat to you about that machine. Some of the other things that you might want to check out, I'm just very, very quickly going to mention these because if you're Christmas shopping for a William Morris fan, these are things that we've got. We're not going to bring all the details up, but we've got loads and loads of fabulous things you could be shopping for. So $17.99 for your teapot. You've got little manicure sets that you could be getting hold of. Fabulous little kind of pencil sets as well. So if you've got a William Morris fan then why not treat them to a teapot like that one there, just $7.99. That's brilliant. I love it. Right, I am going to see you after the break. Lovely Nicola is going to be here launching her brand new bag patterns and kits, and I can't wait to share them with you. So I'll see you the other side of this. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique, which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Here 
at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Hello there and welcome back. Welcome to an hour that I cannot wait because I love it when we have first, when we have launches, when we bring you something new and I know you are going to love what we are bringing to you in this hour and I am sure that you will recognise our guests that we're going to be sharing with you during this hour as well. Been busy getting myself ready, all sorted Nicola? I think so, yeah. Oh, I love it you recognise Nicola, there she is. And you have made the most amazing bag that you're sharing with us. So the bag that you've got, do you want to tell us a little bit about about the bag that you've got before I show everybody what they've got within their kits. Yes, absolutely. So um, I'm launching today my very own patterns. Um, so on this hour, I'm introducing you to the Charlotte bag. Lovely. And the Charlotte bag, let me just untangle it. Wonderful. Is, thank you, a quilted bag um, that's in two different, well, we've got three different colorways. Um, I'm going to demo on the third colourway today. So it's called um, the Charlotte bag because I, love I the think... the style of it. I <laughs> love that peak that you've got in the, the middle. Thank you. I like, wanted to create a bit of um, drama within yeah. the contrast of fabrics. Perfect. Um, and also on the inside, I love when you were talking to me about, around this earlier on because we've got, obviously we've got two shows today with Nicola as well and later on we'll be chatting more, but you've got the little kind of purses that you've created to go inside. Exactly. Um, inside we've got um, two little clips. So first of all, we've got the essential purse, which is um, a little coin purse that's also got card, um, holder space Fabulous. inside yeah so this can clip in but the idea is that anything that clips in and out can clip in and out of any of the bags that like i'm going that. to be producing there's more in the pipeline i love it <laughs> and we've got a little um 
Oh, if you key fob. Pops. So just a little key fob as well. Right. So that will also clip inside. It's all those things drop to the bottom of your bag. You can never find them, can you? But being on those little links means straight away you can get to them. I love it. And I think that's why I wanted to create something that was so easy to get to because I'm so busy. Yes. I feel that I'm always rummaging around, trying to find things, yeah. trying to... My handbags are just such a mess. And, I want and to... you get that moment, don't you, when you can't find your car keys. And before you have a chance to think, like, calm down, is that I've lost my keys, I've lost my yeah. keys, I've lost my keys. And they're not. They're are there but knowing that they were attached to that little clip you're going to find them instantly Nicola I'm going to come across and see you in a little while yep. I'm going to show everybody how these kits come to you so they are beautifully packaged got two here that are ready for you and they've each got a different option so it's the same item number that you're using on the screen you will just go and look for the different variation so let me explain to you how you can shop for these to start with so on the website you will find the item um, and uh, you'll see there's a drop down box so you choose your berry red you choose your copper or you choose your multicolor dependent on the finish that you want and that's exactly what I've got here so you've got that gorgeous berry which is that lovely kind of like a, a faux um, faux leather look I love that it's almost like a metallic finish you'll see you're going to get everything in there which I'll explain to you in a little while as well but everything from your little clips in there you're going to get your cords your magnetic clasps your d-rings everything is in that bundle there so you don't have to worry beautifully packaged which I'll show you in just a few moments the next version that we've got here is that gorgeous copper um, as you can see here with again that fabulous quality fabric the lining um, you've also got your bosal in there as well so um, you can see all of that included again all of your clasps everything that you need but all beautifully put together to complement the fabrics that you've got but I have to say this box I've got here it'll show you exactly how yours comes to you and it's beautiful you open the box up I mean that's exciting enough to start with isn't it but once you look inside and you've got that beautiful tissue paper there showing you that a lot of care and thought has gone into this bundle of goodies that's been sent to you now this one is the multicolor so the multicolor is a little bit different to the others that we've seen so you're going to get your cord in there you're going to get that beautiful red alongside your zip because you're going to need those all of your magnetic findings and your, your little d-rings they're all there lovely chrome tone with these ones which is different to the ones that we've looked at but they complement the fabrics that you've got the fabric absolutely beautiful I mean look at that tropical print which is gorgeous and then of course all of the additional bits and pieces that you need are there now needless to say they come with your full instructions as well and that is the key thing the instructions are going to show you how to put everything together and the instructions are um, available by themselves as well so Whichever you go for, £37.99 is going to make your first bag up, but then you've got the pattern for you to go on and add your own fabrics. I have to say, I mean, Nicola, obviously your passion is there in the way that these have been presented. I mean, everybody's going to have such a, a kind of luxury feel when these arrive. I hope so. Um, I, yeah, I love handbags. I love luxury handbags, but I also love the idea of offering people something that's a joy to receive, but also everything's there that you yes, need. So yeah. I know sometimes when you're making things such as handbags, there's so much hardware and so many bits and bobs Generally to remember. You've got the bits, have you? Yeah, never. And then you've got to find them and know what size. So I like the idea of putting everything together so everything you need is all in one place. I love it. And then we're okay to go on and make others using that pattern? Yes, as long as you quote that the pattern is from, um, it's an all set to sew pattern. So if you're making to sell? Yes, perfect. making to sell. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but obviously, I think, I think the thing is that when you find a bag that you like and you've enjoyed making, you go on and make it in all sorts of different styles, yeah. don't you? And I love making things out of denim, and I think this would look brilliant in denim as well. I think it would. Um, and you know, one of the things that we love to do here at Sewing Street is support people who uh, are starting their own kind of little business, their own little enterprise. Um, and this is a new area because you've demonstrated previously obviously but not with your own patterns no this is the first time with my own pattern so it's a brand new launch today um yeah and it's been i've really enjoyed the process i've as a little girl i used to sort of make bags up with paper oh. and stick it all together yes and i sat there and i thought god it's like being a little girl again <laughs> <laughs> doing all the things i used to love doing but this time it's the whole process of putting it together thinking about how do i expa explain this and okay. Um, in the new year, they will have accompanying YouTube videos. Oh, fabulous. It's just been a bit busy up until now, so yeah. that's my task in the new year to make sure each pattern has got its own accompanying video. Oh, to fabulous. Oh, I look forward to it. <laughs>
We were here at the start of it all. How amazing is that? So once you've decided on which of those patterns, and thank you to everybody that's shopping with us already. Um, as I've mentioned, we've got your fabulous multicolor. You've also got your copper tone, and then you've also got the berry. Now, they're all under the same item number, and this is something that's quite new to us here at Tenant Sewing Street, so let me explain. Same item number get on the website and you will see that you've got that drop down box next to your add to basket button. So you might look at that and think, well, I don't want the copper. I want to go for the multicolor. Well, that's easy. Just click on that drop down box and all the others will appear. Of course, if you want to go for multiples, maybe you're shopping for yourself and maybe you've got a friend that you think would love that copper tone, then of course you can add that in. Just go in each time add to the basket and then check out your basket all in one go. If it's your first order there um, today, then three pounds and 95 pence will be added to your order, but that post and packing will cover you for the whole day. So when we see Nicola back later on, if you're wanting to add anything else in, then you can do. But of course you can go shopping for all those goodies before we even get to them as well. Now, let me explain to you how you can get hold of the pattern by itself. Now, obviously, it's included with all of the different bundles that we've been speaking of. But if you want it just by itself, then you can do. £9.99, pence. you've got all of those fabulous instructions for you to create your fabulous bag. I think this would make a fabulous clutch bag as well, you know. Yeah, well, the straps are detachable. Yes. Um, but you can also omit the tabs. Have a little loop. Yeah, you yeah. can leave those off if you like or you can change your straps around. Yeah. It's really up to you. Nice, I like How it. you manage it. Uh, maybe cross body bag as well. <laughs> That's the other way you can play around with it. So yeah, lots of possibilities. That's the key thing, once you've got a base bag to start with, then you'll start playing around with it. You'll start mixing up the different colours that you're working with, the different ways that you're putting that gorgeous tape in there. And with this one, it's, you're learning stuff as well because you've got that quilted detail because there's no quilted fabrics in here. You're doing that yourself. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I love it. Right, so <laughs> pattern by itself, £9.99. Brilliant value for money and beautifully packaged. I'm sure you'll agree there as well. So M-I-L-212 if you fancy getting hold of that one. Or you've got the kits as well. Now, oh, there's one more thing before we get into demonstrations. And this is a little purse that you saw a few moments ago. Now, this is a separate pattern, um, but we did see it mentioned, obviously, when we were having a little look around the bag. And it's only £7.99. Very, very affordable. Um, and Again, such a clever idea with that kind mm -hmm. of clip together detail. Thank you. I love it. Um, a little coin purse. Well, I say coin purse. It could be whatever you want to pop in there, really, couldn't it? Whatever you like. It could be your emergency chocolate bun uh, or your emergency fiver, as I always have in my bag, just in case, because you never know. Um, your little key fob there as well. Um, so, yeah, um, perfect for your car keys. So, uh, there you go. If you fancy getting hold of your pattern, £7.99 for your purse and keychain. There you go. Um, pop that one into your basket as well. Makes sense to go for them both together, to be fair. So, yeah, if you wanted to go for your bag pattern, 9 99 your purse and key fob, 7 99 Now, I'm intrigued. Which kit are you going to be working with? So, I'm going to be working with the um, faux leather. Lovely. So, the cotton lawn is... Um, obviously a more simple make because it has got, um, well, it, it, you can just use a standard foot on your sewing machine. So if you're comfortable um, with sewing, you're not quite ready to use a faux leather, then the cotton lawn is a great um, option. Lovely. However, I'm going to show you how to work with the faux leather um, Ooh, okay. and creating the piping Lovely. around the edge of the um, flap. I love that. And that's the copper one, isn't it, that we've got there? That gorgeous copper. Yeah, copper so I, the demonstration that I'm going to be using is the um, other colourway, which is Lovely, just the here. berry. Yeah, nice. so we'll be finishing off the berry, which we've started already. Wonderful. Can't wait. Now, um, of course, and I'm sure you will be welcoming Nicola. I know lots of you know Nicola previously. But if you've got any questions that you're wanting to ask, any words of encouragement, she's very nervous. They're brand new patterns that she's designed. <laughs> then do keep in touch. Do get involved with the show. You know how you can do that email message on the app message on the website and i'll pass those messages on so what would you like to tell us then nicola where do we get started um with the demonstration yeah go okay so yours. um i will start off as you can see on the front of the bag you've got this detail here which is piped lovely um now when working with faux leather it is very, um, because of the texture of it, it will stick to a standard foot. Okay. So I've replaced today the foot with the walking foot. Okay. Um, and that helps move the faux leather through the machine. So the um, feed, 
um, the feet will take it from the top and the bottom of the fabric and move it through without Perfect. skipping any stitches. Lovely. So I'm going to show you how you can do the piping with that. So Wonderful. And you've got everything that you need in the kit to help you. Because I noticed the cord in there. Yeah, you've yeah. got the piping cord. Brilliant. All the right amount of fabric to cover all the elements. Perfect. So we have already, let me just take this chain out. Lovely. We've already quilted, so when you're making the bag, you will quilt each panel, each section, before you start constructing. Perfect. Um, the quilting is an inch wide, and we've uh, measured it on a 45 degree angle, and it's a crisscross design. Lovely. Um, we've also used the Bosal foam, which yes. is excellent because you can quilt straight into it. Yes, yeah. it doesn't, with this faux leather, it doesn't need any more reinforcement. It seems to be just enough. Um, that, so you don't need to sandwich any more layers of interfacing. Do you fuse the bows or to the, the fabric? Or you do can. You leave it loose? I left it loose. Yeah, because sometimes with you, you kind of your faux leather, you don't necessarily want to introduce a lot of heat to it, do you? No, so, yeah. I want. We clipped around the edges before starting to quilt. Okay. So um, just to hold it in place, start with a central line, and that will create. Um, but that will basically lock in where you're going to start and sewing. An inch from there. And an inch oh, from there, okay. and you work your way out. Um, with the faux leather, we draw. Um, I prefer to draw the lines on first. Okay. Um, just to make sure it's absolutely neat. Um, trying to find a marker that doesn't wipe off as you go. Oh yeah. So um, that's a good point because you don't want it to be there forever. But no. equally, so you yeah. yeah. So I use point. a. a, a it's a wipeable um, fabric pen, but I drew a few lines at a time because as he's going along with the ruler, it was just wiping oh, off. So okay. draw a few lines, sew it, and then go back to Sometimes, it. Sometimes some sewing machines come with, I always call it like a, um, it's like a, a, a hockey um, stick that you can actually put into the back. It's kind of like a, a little arm with a curve on it, and you can use that for kind of doing your, your um, parallel sewing. So you Ooh. might even have one of those in your, your kit with one of those mm, they're kind of soft <laughs> in the back go into the, like, the back of a walking foot and things like that so yeah so once you've constructed the main we need to work on the flap so um this is the flap, flap pre-quilted so as Lovely. you can see we've got our diagonal um grid pattern wonderful we've trimmed the um, foam within the seam allowance so that it's reducing the bulk this one's trimmed a little bit too much so you okay might not want to um, trim yours just as much okay um but it really does help when you turn it through with all the piping there's so many layers it's, just to reduce there's quite a lot isn't there yeah 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 okay so i'm going to get my binding lovely and this will be an education if you've not created binding before of your own or <laughs> piping of your own piping. I say. <laughs> um so this is the piping cord so basically we've left it nice and this strip nice and wide so we've got lots of room to play with because we can trim it down later and we're going to literally just fold the um, piece of faux leather over the piping now normally I would use a piping foot to just secure that in place but as um, I've got to use a walking foot because we're going to be sewing directly onto the faux leather I'm going to just sew as close to the piping as I can um, and uh, zipper foot is another way you can do this. Yes. If you've got a machine that will cope with that kind of, uh, the, it's almost like the friction that you can create with things like faux, faux leather and oil cloth and things like that. If your machine is okay with that, then uh, yeah, you can use the zipper foot to create your piping as well. But the walking foot is really top tip as well. I think we've probably got those on the website if you need one of those. Am I, oh, not plugged in. I'll just grab that. Oh. <laughs> it, yeah, it's one of those things that we forget. We get ourselves all prepared and then, uh, yeah. Plugging in for the power is the key thing. Incidentally, three different designs with these as well. So whichever you're shopping for, you've got everything that you need in there. So you've got, obviously, the berry tone, which is the one... Oh, it's over here. So the berry tone is the one that we're going to see in action. So if you wanted to get hold of oh, the berry that? tone, then you can do. And you've almost got that almost like a metallic finish with that as well. So it's very, very effective. That one is your berry tone. Um, got multicolour in the middle there. That is your lawn. So maybe you are a novice sewer or you're not overly confident to get yourselves into the the faux leather at the moment then that would be a good option for you that gorgeous bold red um, red in there which is lovely or the copper tone if you like that metallic look as well so there you go three options all under the same item number and of course all kits come with your pattern not that one that one <laughs> and you're also going to be able to get hold of that 9.99 by itself if you wanted to 
Good to go? Yes, we're all plugged in. It was just Lovely. a plug. It was <laughs> plugged into the wall. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, I'm all set up. I'm going to try it and sew as close to the piping cord as I can. But as you can see with the walking foot, it does take it through really nicely. Really simple. Lovely. In fact, I love sewing with a walking foot. I feel like there's so any much tips for anybody. I mean, do we have to think about the size of the stitch or the needle or anything like that? Actually, yes. To turn up the stitch length just a little bit, I've just turned mine up to three, and also to have a sharp needle, oh, um, okay. either a denim needle or one of the sharps, um, because it um, goes through, penetrates, penetrates it, it first. Yeah, 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 and it prevents any um, skip stitches. Yeah, it's a bit of a kind of uh, weightier fabric, isn't it? Um, similar to things like denim, so the kind of settings that you do with your denim really as well, and it's a good tip opening up that stitch length as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, obviously, within the pattern, it's going to tell you all of the dimensions, so you know how much uh, yeah. the fabric that you need to cut, and also as well the the cord. Yeah, everything will be explained in the instructions. Do we need to extend the length of the fabric or have we got enough fabric there to do the full length that's going to kind of create the piping? Do we need to like mitre it and, and join the, the, the strip together? Oh no, you'll have enough to There's create enough the full length, yeah. Fabulous. That's another thing to think about. Ooh. Going at speed there. You are, speedy sewing. <laughs> that's I don't okay. go wonky. You don't mind a bit of speedy sewing, that's okay. <laughs> Okay, so I've nearly got to the bottom. Um, I, I will just address, we've been getting loads of messages through, without going into the, the finer details, because I don't understand the finer details. We are having a problem with our transmission at the moment, but it's not us. We're doing everything right here. We're on HD, but it's kind of, you know how when you kind of get to the mains electric beyond the end of your driveway, it's kind of a bit like that. So what's going on out there is causing the issue. Everything that we're working on in here um, is okay. So um, our engineers have actually had to go over to the people that we kind of do all the transmission through to try and sort it out but we're getting there it's way way above my head I just plug it in and turn it on but we know and I just want to acknowledge because I know lots of you message us I'm not ignoring you but I've got no no answers so uh, unfortunately but we, you can go watch uh, the show at a later stage as well or watch on the web I think it's okay on the web right <laughs> okay All so done. I've got my length of piping now looks like my yeah, my bobbin stopped halfway through. Oh, okay. But it's okay. There's only a little bit at the end. I was playing fine. a bit of thread roulette earlier. Oh, on honestly, <laughs> it's always, always the, way. the way, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so most of that has been piped nicely. I think I probably have a little bit too much. So um, we're going to start as the seam allowance for this is one and a half centimeters. There's plenty um, of seam allowance to meet that um, okay. on the piping. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to use clips as I go along. I've got my lining piece, which has already been um, pop poppered. Oh, you've got magnetic <laughs> clasp on there. Yes, I've already. And in the instructions, does it mention all about how to put your magnetic yes. clasp and everything in place? Yes, Lovely. That's full, fully in there. And a bit of stabiliser there to reinforce it. Lovely. Yep. So we're going to lay this, sandwich it in between and start with a clip. As I get down to any points that have got to move around a point or a curve, I'm just going to snip into the seam allowance of the piping and that's, this will just give it some room to move. Okay. Does it matter whether you attach it to the right side or the wrong side of you, you, the flap that you're creating? Does it make any difference? Yes, it's got to be in, sandwiched in the wrong side of the flap so that okay. when you turn it through... It'll be sitting in the right place. Yeah. Lovely. Okie doke. Sometimes it's one of those situations. <laughs> I always struggle with that kind of three-dimensional, th you know, thinking in 3D. And you're thinking, right, okay, I'm laying it here, but when yeah. I turn it through, it's got to look this way. It or just made me realise that I had a the, that facing the wrong way. I wasn't entirely sure. Yeah, thank you. I, <laughs> I was being as subtle as I could. <laughs> you're very subtle, very appreciated. <laughs> you're welcome. I would have got to the end and gone, oh. <laughs> if I see it, then I will mention it. Thank you. You're welcome. I think it's the early start. It is. Oh. And it's, it's kind of like whistle stop. I mean, we go live at 8 a.m. and it's like hey, literally. I don't know how you do it. You're getting yourself ready as a, there's another show going on. <laughs> okay, so I've You're just. Brilliantly. Thank you. <laughs> I've just made that little snip. So then that really helps that binding to move around that little corner. Wonderful. Okay, so as I go around, I'm just laying the. 
And what about things like, I mean, you're using quilt clips there. Would you advise quilt clips rather than pins? Yes, especially with, because there's so many, so many layers, they're easier to um, just hold it all together. Okay. Um, and especially with the faux leather, because it can make holes. I know it's only in the seam allowance, but... It what does. I'm going to do is, if it's okay with you, I'm going to grab the bag and just show everybody yeah. what it is that you're making, just as you get yourself ready to sew. Oh, making all those noise with that chain there. <laughs> so these are lovely. Now, these are the bags that are being created. And this is Nicola's first pattern of her own. She's been here demonstrating previously because many of you will recognise her. And what she's working on at the moment is the equivalent of that piping that you can see around that lovely V shape that we've got on the flap. Now, within your kit, you are going to get all of the fabric that you need Need. so you're going to get that gorgeous faux leather this one is the copper version and you've got that lovely kind of burgundy tone that's going to be your lining you're also going to get all of the things like your magnetic clasps you're going to get your d-rings you're wanting to add in a chain that i'm sure we will have some chains on the website as well but the chain isn't included within the kit is it it, it is included oh, is yeah. it? Oh, did yeah. you find it in there so yeah oh. sorry i think it's um yeah we must have forgotten to put them in that's all right oh included. i didn't want to say that <laughs> did, they didn't so you're getting the chain as well which is even better isn't it um so the idea of this bag is that lovely design as you can see here may vary a little bit from the chain that we've got here um but you will get a chain in them now what you could be potentially doing is getting hold of that additional pattern that we've got that will allow you to create your little clipping purse because we have got that pattern available for you as well 7.99 if you're wanting to go for that and within that pattern it will also give you the ability for you to make your little key fob chain there and these are all designed to clip in and clip out so as we see more bags coming from Nicola, which we will, which I'm looking forward to, you will have this ability in there so you could take your key fob from this bag into a future bag. But we're looking at the Charlotte bag today where you've got those fabulous little kind of flap details in there with um, that wonderful, I love that, it's kind of almost got a very kind of um, French look to it, I think there, so with that kind of tapered, classy look. Now the quilted effect here, that is something that you're going to be learning how to create yourself, because the fabric isn't already quilted, you are going to do that, but you've got everything that you need within your kit to enable you to do so. And you're going to get your full instructions, which means step by step, you'll know exactly what to do. Now, quilt clips are something that are key, um, and we've got a fabulous pack of 50 for you, 9.99. Um, ben, Ben's a bit rebellious today. I, I don't know what he's done. I think it's a bit of a thank you to say it's sticking with us. So six ninety nine. So um, if you are watching, um, if you're watching um, on uh, the old web, then you can see that we've got fabulous suits to say thank you for your patience. So six ninety nine, fifty of those clips in there. And of course, as we touched on the fact of working with faux leather, it's clips you need to use rather than your pins. Then you're going to need those within your stash as well. And that's exactly what Nicola's doing at the moment. She's using her clips to create that fabulous edge where she's adding the piping that she's already created as well. So that is the beauty of this. So, yeah, we might get into trouble for that, but we're always in trouble anyway. So does it matter? It doesn't really matter. Um, so, yes, if you're wanting to get hold of any of the patterns, just to mention as well the variations that you've got. Obviously, the, um, that is the, uh, the copper tone with that gorgeous kind of gold copper look. You've also got your multicolour, which is the one that we've got here. And the one that we are seeing being created at the moment is this lovely berry tone. And that's where we find ourselves at the moment. How are you doing over there, Nicola? Yes, yeah, so it's all put together. Lovely. I've um, clipped around the corners, especially this corner at the bottom, because it's quite a deep V. You really just want to make sure that's snipped. Don't go through the stitches, obviously, but it, it enables you to turn that corner. So that's all good to go. I've just switched machines because um, this lovely Elna hasn't got a piping foot, but I've got a the other Elna with the That's piping fine. foot. That's all right. And as I'm sewing directly onto fabric with the faux leather underneath, I'm able to use just a standard piping foot, there which enough. really helps get nice and close. And you are using a machine that's not your own machine here as well. Oh, I know. So it's, it's always, you feel like a fish out of water when you're using a, somebody else's machine. You really it? do. So, yeah. You do. And you're standing up. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> I forget because I've kind of demonstrated exhibitions for many, many years. I forget about demonstrating standing up. But yeah, uh, do you get used to it? it. <laughs> okay, so I've got my piping foot. I'm just going to position that just underneath. So the piping foot is amazing because, um, yeah, and like you said, you can do it with a zip foot, but it really does help if you can get a piping foot because it just channels um, through the 
and you can get really close yeah. with that as well. So I suppose at this point, it's a good um, a good way. You do, kind of do that check to make sure that the piping is going towards the centre of your project as well, isn't it? Because there's many a time I've done it the opposite way around and done it wrong, but I can see you've got it right there. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start off. Lovely. Oh. Is and it misbehaving, that one? It really is. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Shall I show you what you're going to get in your kit just while we get that machine sorted out? So um, it's the berry one that we're looking at, isn't it? So the berry tone, when you get your kit, it doesn't matter which one you go for. They're all under the same item number. And you've got a little drop-down box and you just choose your option. Now, this one is your berry. Now, within your berry, you are getting a sizable piece of your uh, faux leather in there. So a really good size piece. It's got this lovely metallic sheen, as you can see, with regards to this one so yeah if you like the look of this one and you love that metallic feel then uh, yeah this is definitely the one to go for um, to complement that you're going to have that gorgeous um, piping that you're going to be able to create um, so uh, yeah, one of those situations that um, uh, uh, you kind of create your piping to work with that um, so uh, yeah you've got obviously your strip of fabric in there so that's the one that we saw um, Nicola working with to create her piping and she's included the piping cord as well so so what the situation is, you take your piping, as we saw earlier, I mean, that's a very generous piece that you've got there. You're wrapping that around and then you're stitching along that edge. And that's giving you that incredibly professional finish that is going to sit on the edge of that V flap that you've got there. So that is the key thing. I mean, it's touches like that that give it that kind of top notch look isn't it so that is the beauty of that so that's included in there you've obviously got your lining to go on the inside of your bag and you've also got your bosal in there and the bosal is going to be key when you're wanting to get that quilted effect that you're going to create needless to say you've got your bag hardware in there as well so things like your d-rings you've got your lobster claw clasps um, and of course you're going to get your chain in there as well so all together um, 37.99 and oh it includes your kit it includes your pattern as well because it's kind of key you need the pattern really don't you <laughs> you do <laughs> How are you getting on over? Yeah, there? all fixed. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> just a little. I think it just got stuck as I started sewing. Well, sometimes it's a kind of a bit of a. There's a chunk to go through in the first yeah. few stitches, isn't there? So glad it's working out. Thank you. I am too. <laughs> okay, so I'm just working my way around. I'm just coming down to the corner. Okie dokie. Anything that we need to think of when we're going around the corner? Yes. Um, as you get down to the bottom, I'm just going to. I've just gone past the binding. I'm just going to. So, a couple of stitches along. Okay. Just to get back into the position that I need for the binding and um, for the piping. I'm just going to make sure my piping is still in the correct place. And those couple of little stitches kind of make it easier to turn through at a later yeah, stage. Yeah, it then. does. And I think it's worth just taking your time to get around that corner, just readjusting your piping, making sure that everything is where it should be because it, once it's done properly, you will have a nice smart V. Absolutely. So it is worth just getting Put around the, the corner. Okay. Oh, I've just had a message pop up on social media. Um, Cherry, thank you. I don't know if this is still the case, because at the moment I'm, I'm frightened to say anything, because two <laughs> seconds later it can be different. Um, apparently on YouTube, we're not looking too bad. So there you go. So have a little look at YouTube. Um, so hopefully that's okay. But as I say, 10 seconds later, it might be different. <laughs> so fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so I'm just coming up to the end here. Lovely. I'm just gonna twist round, sew up the side. Moment of truth. Lovely. <laughs> okay, so um, it's definitely worth trimming your seam allowances. Okay. And I'm, praying that everything is looking as it should inside because I'm going ahead and tr trimming. It might be a good idea to really get as much of the faux leather trimmed out of the way as possible. Okay. Um, if you can grade the seam allowances, it might be worth doing that. Wonderful. Um, I'll just trim a little bit for now because once you turn, it, does, it can be quite bulky. Yeah. And also as well, I mean, this might be a new type of fabric that you're working with. And as we heard earlier on, um, if it is a case that you, you're not quite at the realms of working with your faux leather, do bear in mind that you have got um, that gorgeous um, lawn fabric that you could be doing with the multi, as you can see with regard to this one. So, yeah, um, beauty is you've got obviously that magnetic clasp that um, is going to keep everything closed together. So, of course, that is included within your kit. You're going to pop your two parts together and create your fabulous 
fabulous little flap and then once you've created your flap with that fa um, that fabulous um, piping around the edge there it's all coming together I can't decide which I like I do like the multicolored because do you know what value for money wise I think the multicolor is a good one because I'm a bit like this I like a selection box at Christmas because you get a bit of all sorts and with this one you've got so many outfits that this is going to work with because you've got the blue in there that's going to work with your denims your greens that beautiful hot red in there and of course the yellow as well so that one is your multicolor if you're going down that option okay How are you getting on over there there you go so this is um as you can see we've, everything's pulled through nicely beautiful I wasn't going to mention the fact that as I turned it through, I realised I did have it the wrong way. Did you notice? Did you notice? Know? <laughs> just to use a stitch in the last bit. But don't worry, don't <gasps> worry. Um, oh. But I have to say, that looks beautiful because you, you don't press it, do you? Because of the no. nature of the meat, the, the fabric. Yeah, so, yeah. it works. It's really easy to use. It does work ever so nicely. Um, once you've made your flap, you can then start working on putting the bag together. Wonderful. So this is the lining. Um, really easy to put together. You just sew each of the sides down, leaving the seam allowance gap Perfect. at the bottom, so then you can sew in the bottom. Lovely. Um, I've pre-sewn in um, the hook for the key fob and the little clip for wonderful pair. and that's something that we're going to see on future bags as well isn't yes. it which i like the idea of that because that's a really clever feature um and uh, all the instructions because we're kind of jumping ahead to that stage because this is the key thing i mean you've got to buy the pattern to know how it all comes together we're not going to give you all of the secrets so yeah invest in the pattern whether it's the pattern by itself or as a kit and you'll know all the different bits and pieces of how you put it all together Okay. So the inside goes inside. Yep, so you've got your right sides together, you've got your outside inside out and your lining right sides out. So okay. the right sides are still touching. You're going to put your, um, I'm going to only tack this in place because I do want to fix oh, it. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So you're it's going to put your... It's easily done. Yeah, I know. I hope so. <laughs> you're going to put your um, lining, in, um, your flap inside sandwiched in between the lining and the... Um, Out, outer, the outer bag, yeah, and then just line up. Just making sure that that is the right way round. So okay, so you're going to line up the edges. So if it, your flap's a little bit long, just push it down. Okay, match I your think corners. You can round, can't it? If you need yeah. to. Yeah, and I'm just going to clip around the top. Wonderful. Now, while you're doing that, um, can I reiterate the kit details? We're very busy. Um, lots of you not only going for the pattern itself, but also going for the kits. So, uh, yeah, whichever way you're shopping, of course, you can do. The kit is often the best way to go, I think, in my personal opinion, because you're paying a tenner for the pattern anyway. So if you think $27.99 to make your first bag... And then, obviously, you're going to go on and create um, others in your own fabric. That is the key thing, isn't it, with that? We've got three different options if you're going for it as a kit. So the first one that I've got here is your copper. Now, your copper has got this gorgeous kind of... It's almost like a vintage gold look to it, which I think is classic. I mean, it, it reminds me of almost like French chic, this particular look. So you've got your quilted effect, and you're going to be learning how to do your quilted effect when you are working within the pattern. So that is the key thing. And all of these lovely parallel lines you'll be creating those top tip find yourself a pen that you can actually use on your faux leather or use maybe you've got a little tool there that is going to enable you to do those parallel lines so you're going to create all of that and that is you creating your fabric from your bundle now your bundle incidentally if you are going for the one that we're looking at is going to be that copper tone and you can see there you haven't got that quilted effect but you have got your bosal in there and that is what's going to give you that quilted look when you stitch through it so that is included way more fabric than you need um, in these bundles as well your lining obviously that is going to complement that fabulous binding that you can be creating there with that piping there and you've got your piping cord there so you're going to be able to create that and all of your bag hardware as well as a little chain for you to actually complete your bag so this is the key thing you don't have to go looking for anything and everything is colored to work with the fabrics that you've got in here so nicholas thought of that as well so that one is if you wanted to go down that route of that gorgeous copper tone the one that nicholas working on at the moment is similar idea because it's kind of got that um, piping but the piping becomes the whole look of the bag with that gorgeous berry that you've got there as well um, you've got the kind of the complementary crossover so on the uh, the, the actual berry one you're going to have that copper 
um, for the, the pipe in there. The, um, the lining is going to be exactly the same across both of those. The bow sort you're going to get in there and of course all of your bag hardware as well. So that one is if you want to go down the berry tone. And then the multicolour one is where you've got that hot red lining which is brilliant. I mean that's perfect for your holidays. It's got a tropical look to it hasn't it? And that one, you've got your cotton lawn fabric for your outer, which is potentially the easier one to work with if you are a novice or less, less confident sewer. And then, of course, you've got everything else in there that we spoke of. So a full instruction is going to take you through it step by step. How are you getting on over there, Nicola? Yep, so I've um, clipped all the way around the edge. I've inserted the um, hooks for the bag clasp in either edge. So okay. they've just been sandwiched in between with the raw edges lined up in between each Perfect. side so i'm going to sew all the way around the top of the bag lovely and we're going to turn it through wonderful so mm -hmm. again the same as we spoke before longer stitch length with this yes clips as well to help you yeah the clips are great when there's so many layers and also as well i mean the, the bundle that we've got for the clips um i mean this is brilliant you can get 50 for 6.99 which I think is phenomenal. It's a bit naughty of our Ben actually, because I think we're supposed to bring them to you at um, 9.99. So he has been a little bit naughty, but it's a thank you for sticking with us. Um, so uh, yeah, I think some of you are watching over on YouTube now as well, because I believe it's a little bit easier on there than it is through the TV. Um, but uh, there you go, 50 of those quilt clips, all in a fabulous little kind of a group. So you kind of can use these for your storage as well. Although, I don't keep mine in storage because I'm constantly using them. Quite often, I've probably got some, yeah, I walk around with them. I've actually got some quilt clips in my pocket. <laughs> so I literally have got them wherever I go. Um, so $6.99 if you fancy getting hold of that pack of 50. Add those in, why don't you? Okay, so I'm sewing this together with a one and a half centimetre seam allowance. Lovely. And obviously it's quite, um, quite a sturdy bag that you're creating so it, it will almost have a bit of a life of its own as you're working with it but yeah <laughs> you've just got to move it out the, the way little bits. so I as we go around the sides I just finished that row of stitching it's easier to then reposition the bag Lovely. and you do just have to keep moving it yeah and you find a way you, get you yourself, do get yourself into some odd positions don't you when you're <laughs> In fact, it's probably easier standing up doing this bit anyway. <laughs> You've got more room <laughs> to point, dance around yeah. it. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm just about to go over the um, hook, um, the loop. So okay. it is extra thick um, because it's faux leather. So it, it, whilst it feels like it's a lot to go through, the needle does go through quite nicely. And I think it's okay to just take your time, isn't it? Don't go racing away slow your machine down i mean if you get to a tricky point whenever you're sewing i mean this is just i sometimes do this if the machine feels as if it doesn't want to go through um because some machines don't it just depends on the machine you've got you can just use the wheel on the side so you can just turn that just for those few stitches rather than you kind of forcing your machine just rotate that um flywheel let the needle go through your fabric at a slow pace or regulate your speed as well sometimes you can drop the speed right the way down so even if you're pressing hard on your pedal it doesn't go racing ahead it's just a different way of sewing with those thicker layers that you might not necessarily sew with as usual so uh, yeah mm -hmm. just a, all a learning curve Okay, I'm just going over the flap. Lovely. Do we have to think about like a, a turning gap or anything like that when we're actually turning? Yes, at the bottom of the lining. So, so there's a little, the inside. Yeah, on the inside, there's a gap ready to turn through. So when putting the lining together, you must remember to leave that gap. It is in the instructions. Okay, fabulous. If not, you'll find yourself with your unpicker. Oh, yes. Talking of unpickers, how did I? Have we still got any of those unpickers left from the early bird special? Oh, there's a few. There's not many. This is a brilliant tool. If you did join us at 8 a.m. this morning, you'll know that AM, obviously we bring you an early bird every single day, but we're bringing you something extra special 
um, during Advent. So right the way up until Christmas, every single day, a phenomenal deal. Now, 14 99 that was for your early bird. It's a five-in-one tool, which is brilliant. From Simplicity, you've got everything from a tape measure. You've got an unpicker on there, which reminds me when Nicola mentioned mm -hmm. it. You've got a little pair of snips in there. You've also got your tracing wheel as well as a magnifying glass. Now, we found this. I think the closest we found it to be was about 12 99 or 11 99 was it? So apologies for that. But we've actually dropped the price down because Ben's in that kind of a mood. He's a bit of a, he's got a little a bit of the, um, the mischievous nature in him today. He's, he's like a little Christmas elf, isn't he? He's a bit naughty. So six ninety nine. that's all that you're paying for it. Um, and it's a brilliant little tool. I'll show you, maybe I'll show you in closer detail in a little while. But basically, you've got all of the different tools that are in there. And you've also got your tape measure there as well. But six ninety nine, brilliant value for money. And it's got your unpicker in there, which we hope you don't need to use. <laughs> You're right over there, Nicola. Yeah, so I've sewn all, all the way around the top. Um, normally you'd trim your seam allowances in any bulk. I'm not going to because I am going to unpick this with <laughs> just to fix. You can borrow this tool. <laughs> Thank you, just to fix the flap. But you're now going to turn everything through a hole in the bottom okay so make sure you leave a generous hole because yeah. I, I must admit i'm a bit stingy because i don't like hand stitch i know i'm exactly the same yeah. and then sometimes you can't quite get your hand through that was yeah. really stingy but saying that, i mean if it's the lining and it's the bottom you can always do it on your machine anyway can't you if you want i would <laughs> okay and this is where and this is a phrase that i don't know if i like this phrase but some people do use it that you birth the bag i know oh. I, yeah i never say that i think it's I don't, yeah <laughs> i know which I, I don't know who came up with it in the first oh. place, but yeah it's just it just doesn't bring up it's very not nice very, it's not very it's much nicer than that <laughs> turn it, you turn it through you turn your bag through there we go so <laughs> Still very sad about my oh, flat bin right. the wrong way round. You've got, we've got. A break. Incidentally, Nicola's back in a little while as well, so she's got an hour off, and she's going to be back between twelve and one. And we're going to be chatting about. Is it the purse that we're looking at in the, the next hour? It's a new bag. Um, oh, one of the bags. Yeah. Ooh. It's a new bag. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, so there you go. That kind of gives you the look, doesn't it? So there you go. That's fine, Nicola. Don't worry. That's what it looks like. I love it. There you go. <laughs> so that's the different variation if you're wanting to go down that berry route, um, and it's very similar to the copper tone, which is the one that I've got here. But obviously everything is in reverse. So where you're seeing the copper, you will see the berry, and where you're seeing the berry, you will see the copper. So uh, yeah. Just a different look. It's entirely up to you. Christmas party look really, isn't it, that one? Exactly, I like this. that's what I thought. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> or New Year's Eve party as well. That'll be here before, you know. We'll be talking about Valentine's Day and Easter before you know it. They've probably got Easter eggs in the shops already. You they know, have. Like. <laughs> have they really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wishing our lives away, aren't we? <laughs> so, um, there you go. Beautiful. Anything else that you wanted to tell us about the bag? Um, everything? I think so, yes. Um, I think really it's just about the piping. I think another little tip I can give you if you are new to um, creating piping is um, especially when you're going around the corners because it's such, um, it, it's so, such a tight corner to get round. Um, I would recommend to tack in place first. Okay. So before you sandwich between the two um, layers that will also give you time to make sure you've put your lining <laughs> around the right way what? i think you're forgiven because it's the first of your own bag patterns that you've brought to us and i know it's, it's always it's all well and good standing here and demonstrating when it's somebody else's product you just get on with it i mean it's still nerve-wracking but when it's your own even more so I really nerve-wracking oh, i underestimated how much oh but, but you've been brilliant you really have <laughs> so yeah so don't worry about that at all yeah it looks beautiful i mean the back design itself my goodness you uh, to, to come up with a design like this i think uh, well i don't know if i would have come up with something because i mean there's quite a complex different elements within this so well done Thank you. And the concept, I think, is brilliant. Okay. The concept, because I'm going to give you this bag back, so as you can talk us around this one and explain. When I say about the com um, that kind of concept, mm -hmm. I'm going to come and join you actually, because I'm a bit lonely that. over there. <laughs> <I'm> lonely. <laughs> I'm going to join you. Um, this is ingenious because all of the bags that we're going to see in the future, we're going to see loads. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> and this is a similar sort of thing that's going to run throughout these. So I like that idea, which is I think it's going to be good. So. 
I think the thing that really drove me to want to design bags is that when I go into the office, I take in a, probably about three or four bags. I've got my crossbody bag. I've got a bag with my laptop and books. And yeah. I love to go out. And I've got, I, I'm terrible. I always lose things because I'm moving things from bag to bag. And I, I leave, do that, yeah. <sighs> End up with your essentials somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to create something that you more or less have your core pieces. So this is obviously more of a evening or posh day out bag. Nice. Um, but if you wanted to just make sure your keys always in one place, you've got your cards and your coins in one place, this can then just be transferred from bag to bag. And you'll know then that everything that you really need. There will be more accessories coming. Oh, exciting. Um, that can work with all the bags. Um, but also um, with the chain as well, I, I think it really depends on where you're going as to what chain you like. Yes. Um, a friend I stayed with last night, she's got a crossbody bag that has got these detachable ch um, straps. So she's just recently bought one for herself, which oh. cost a fortune. Oh, right. When okay. I was shocked, when I know how you can cheap they are to well, make. They, I mean, the finding that there's such brilliant quality um, that yeah, I can imagine if you were buying the bag, that, yeah. or even just going out and buying the chains themselves. Exactly. Yeah. But if you don't want to have a chain, you can clip on. You can create your own strap. Maybe you might want to match it with the faux leather. Nice idea. But you could. Mm. Um, depending on where you're going, what you like, what you prefer to wear. You could make a, um, a slider, a, um, an adjuster, adjust yes, strap, yeah. and you can then clip those on. So it really is about you customising your bag to how you like. Um, yes, yeah, so that was the thought behind it, so that I can, firstly, I've always wanted a Chanel handbag, never got one, so I thought, wow. Well, I'm going to make a posh I'm bag. I'm going to give a posh bag. I'll make and my own posh bag. It has got that French look about it, hasn't it? It's got a very chic look to it. So, um, And of course, the beauty is once you've created your first one, you will go on and create many more to come. I mean, I do love that berry when it's quilted. I mean, it does look fabulous, doesn't it, as well? So, and I found whichever option, to be fair. I was really pleased to have found um, these fabrics because they're actually very, very soft. Mm. I think there's some rayon in mixed into the composition. I do need to double ah. check, but it does explain why they're so soft and squidgy. Um, for me, I don't think it looks like a faux leather. It feels so, and manages so like a So if real. anybody's watching and they love the look of the bag, but they've never worked with faux leather, I know we've spoken of the lawn, but to be honest, the look of these two, I think, would be the reason for people to give it a go. Would you say to people, just take your time, even if it's the first time that you've stitched mm. with it, take your time and, and, and you'll get there? Definitely, definitely take your time. And like um, you said, if you've got a great unpicker tool as well, you can always just unpick, start again. Um, the whole process is supposed to be relaxing and enjoyable. That's it. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. And having um, something that you've created that you love, that you feel proud to take out. Um, for me, this would be definitely a party. Um, this colourway would definitely be a party. It um, looks it, bag. isn't it? Yeah. Maybe this one I could wear to work, well, to the office. it's a classic look, isn't it? That, almost that burgundy tone, isn't it, with that beret? Beautiful. But it does feel a bit more special because it's got that slight metallic yes, sheen yeah, to it. Yeah. Um, and the they're really roomy bags. Yes, so they're a good size. Um, you can fit plenty more in, whether it's a diary, um, right a little there. water bottle. There's all sorts that you can pop in there. Love it. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so. <laughs> so there you go. You've got your three different options with regards to those. So whichever you choose to go for. Um, the details are on your screen. So you can see there you've got your copper, um, which is the one that we looked at here. And um, then you've got the berry tone. And of course, you've got that fabulous multicolor, which I've not got. It's over there. But as I mention it, should we jump onto the website and let me explain to you how you can shop for these in the different variations. So hop onto the website. On the website, you will find, obviously, the item that we're chatting about. And the item that we're chatting about is this fabulous Charlotte bag. Posh by name, posh by nature. <laughs> um, so, yeah, $37.99 will get you any one of those kits. Now, comprehensive kits, it's got everything that you need in there. But the only decision you need to make is which of them you're going to go for. So, are you going to go for the multicolour, which has got that gorgeous pop of red lining that's that gorgeous lawn fabric? Are you going to go for the copper or are you going to go for the berry? It's entirely up to you. But it doesn't matter 
which one you go for, you have got everything that you need in there. I've got the multicolour, so you're going to get all of your findings, not only your magnetic, uh, magnetic clasps, but also you're going to find your D-rings, you're going to have a chain in there. You're also going to have all of the little elements there, so as if you do go on and buy the other pattern that we've got, for things like your key ring, things like your, key, um, your little purse, you can actually have those in. And the beautiful idea is that when you actually see more of the bags from Nicola, you can take those bits with you when you go. It's a brilliant idea. Oh, and I love you. it. Now, the other way that you can actually shop for the bag, if you don't want to go for the kit, is to go for the pattern by itself. £9.99 pence being your price on that one. Um, and the beauty is you can utilise your own fabrics, but that is included within any of those kits that you go for. So bear that in mind, £27.99 for your fabrics and all of your hardware, I think, is a very small price to pay, mm -hmm. to be honest. So if you do want to go for the bag pattern by itself, you can do. And then just mentioning those essentials, if you do want to create your little purse and your keychain, then there you go, the details are on your screen there, £7.99. And, and of course, more accessories to come. We're starting what I hope is going to be a very long and interesting journey, Nicola. Can't Thank wait you. to see what else you bring to us. So uh, you're back again at um, 12 o'clock. Yes, I am. Looking at a different bag. So make sure that you do join us during that hour as well. Um, and uh, we're going to take a little break now and we will catch up with you at the other side of this. See you in a bit. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials, which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost. And most of you might know me as Baffa in the studio when John and Vic say our ah, Baffa when I message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags, as you can see, I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags, um, however, there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Claim to fame, I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five, I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaids dresses for me and my sister. And basically I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature by the way. Um, she said I'm a bit young to learn her words. And basically she said maybe when you're a bit older so my when I turned eight I basically learned to hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine I'm now in my late 30s but still act that eight-year-old my favorite tools or top tips so I have two best friends one's called the bulky sea maid which is this and one is called Quilter's Day. This will help anybody, the bulky sea maid will help anybody if you've um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. Now this is my best friend when I would come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot, I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon, bye. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. 
whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one p and throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Hello there and welcome back. It's me again. Me again. Now you might be going, yay, or you might be going, oh no, not again. But I am your presenter for this morning here on Sewing Street. Um, and lovely Nicola has taken herself off. She's gone to grab herself a drink. She will be back in an hour and we'll be talking more about her patterns. What a fabulous hour we just had with her. Now, this hour is all about tools. Tools that are going to make things easier for you at home. Incorporating all sorts of different things. So whether you're into your quilting, whether you're into your dressmaking, whether it's just a case of that you just like to do a little bit of sewing maybe repairing things then we have got loads of things to share with you but there are two machines that we didn't get a chance to have a chat with you about uh, at 8 a.m this morning because from 8 a.m through to 9 30 we were concentrating on the name of Husqvarna Viking which is where we are again in this hour but we concentrated on the Jade 35 which is a brand new machine to us here at Sewing Street and it's embroidery an embroidery and sewing machine and you also get software so you can design on your computer and your Mac as well but we're looking at the other machines in this hour now the first one that we're looking at is this fabulous overlocker now this overlocker is brilliant i am i i love i have a love-hate relationship with overlockers as many sewers do because one of the things i always find tricky is you get it all set up and it's fine and then a thread breaks and it's like oh no 
Now I know it's going to take me an hour to actually get it back on track. Well, not with this one because this one is brilliant. So this one is your Amber, your Amber S100. It is what S100, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I had to think for a minute then. Um, and what you've actually got with this one, now this, if you have looked at overlockers in the past, you will know that this is a game changer because you've got a little lever. And this little lever means that when you actually move that, I've got to get myself into the right position, you literally will push that and look at that it opens up all of the threading system obviously you can open it up from the front as well but what that means is you've got easy access access all areas if you would um, which means that you are going to be able to um, get right into all of the nitty-gritty now obviously you've got your little guide here your threading guide and that is going to show you where all the threads come you've got all the different tensions on there as well but you've got the most incredible easy threading system that will allow you to actually access those areas my overlocker at home this is why i have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it it kind of is like that which isn't very accessible at all there's not a lot of room at all. So when I come to thread my, um, my upper loopers, I'm literally trying to push the thread through there and hoping it's gone into the channel where it needs to go. But with this one, you don't have to worry because you literally are just going to open that up and there you go all the access that you could possibly need now you've got a little toolkit here as well so all the things are on board you've also got a couple of little bits and pieces in there because you can do things like your rolled hems with this one as well and you have got your guide that will work alongside it and this is something that who's gone um, a viking pride themselves on they give you all the tuition all the information that you need really really easy for you to work with so at this price i think it is phenomenal because you're going to get all of that but do you know what else you're going to get? You're going to get all of these. So it will come, it will come to you pre-threaded and the threads that are on this machine already, um, so you just literally get going with it, start sewing. But with this, you are also going to get your 12 spools. Again, we are looking at Madeira Thread, another brand that I love. Um, 1,200 meters, so lots and lots of thread on each one of those. And they're kind of those uniform colours. You've got four bobbins or four threads that you're going to use on this one across all of the different um, kind of your upper, lower and your two needles. Um, so you've got four spools so you can do all the same colour thread in your white, all the same colour in your grey and of course your black as well. And that is included. You've got split pay on this one as well. So that means that you don't have to pay for it all in one go. And you have got your little thread catch. So I'm going to pop my thread catch on. I'm doing it at a bit of a funny angle. So if you do want to shop for this one, then can I suggest that you get it into your basket? More importantly, you get your basket checked out. Just remember how this um, goes on. Um, and then, there we go. I think it goes into that little catch there. Let me, can I just turn it around towards me? Sorry. It's a bit of an awkward angle doing that. So... It's a while since I've actually put um, the, the clip on. Oh, there you go. You just push it in. I didn't push it in far enough. So it's on there. Um, and that's nice as well because it's a, a proper plastic thread catcher. You've also got a little gauge here as well. So that is your seam gauge. So that will slide in and out. So you can see you've got your little markings on there. Let me take that back off again now. So you can see that you can move that in and out dependent on how much of the fabric that you're wanting to cut away. And that just literally will slot in there. It's a bit like a hair clip. Just goes in and out dependent on how much you're wanting to cut away. But then all you need to do is press your foot on the pedal and away you go. So let's get that back in there as well. Put that in there and that on there because that clips into the top there. Um, and then... I've got a little bit of embroidery that I did earlier on. So if you wanted to neaten up the edges, all you need to do is alter that um, guide. So you've got all of the different kind of bells and whistles you would expect. And then all you do is you put your fabric on there, um, drop your foot down and away you go. And what that's doing is cutting the edge of the fabric. I've not tested this before we started, so I'm hoping that we've got a decent stitch on it, which we have. Let's cut away that salvage edge there and then I can pull that forward. And as is often the case, you have got a little um, clip on the side there to cut your threads, but quite often you will just cut it on the blade there. And you can see there, it's creating that overlocked edge. So for instance, I could just go around that and make a little kind of um, feature of it if I wanted to use different colour threads on there. Um, it's just confidently just cutting through like so. 
The biggest feature for me on this one, though, is, as I said, the fact that you've got the access to the um, all areas with this one. I'm just going to take it through the blade again because I can't quite see around the corner there. But neatly and easily, it could be that I wanted to cut away more of an area. So I can move that out. I can move it in. And also, you've got various different combinations with the stitches to have a single needle, double needle in there. You can do things like your rolled hems with these as well. So that means that it really is a machine that you're going to be able to work with over and over again. Let's just do that last corner down the edge there, just to neaten it all off. And off we go again. So this could be a little um, serviette or napkin that I was making if I wanted to. Um, so they don't have to be big projects. But of course, there you go. Some embroidery I did earlier and then neatened off there nice and easy. But the fact that you've got all of those different threads in there to make it very accommodating. As I said... Access all areas, so when it comes to threading, really easy for you to access all the areas that you need so you can get right into the nitty gritty. Oh, somebody's been working with green fabric on this one. Do make sure you do a little bit of housekeeping. You've got a little lint brush in there. You've got a little screwdriver to take your pin, um, needles in and out as you need to. Um, and you have got additional accessories in here because um, you can actually turn it into things like rolled hems, but just by adding in the little kind the features that you've got with this which are all detailed in here you've got a guide this guide is brilliant because the guide itself will show you the different combinations of stitches you can do with this so it really shows you you've also got a troubleshooting guide in here as well so if you have any issues with regards to the way that the, the thread is coming out or the, the edge is finishing but you can see there you've got all sorts of different combinations with the way that you're going to be working with this if you want to convert it into just using your two threads you can do and you use this little arm that is going to pop in place and it's detailed all there as well so it really is an amazing machine but i think the key thing is for me it's that access that you've got so if you've got a, an area that you can get to, you don't mind changing the threads then because it's going to make it easier. Um, what I tend to do is you kind of, you start off and you, you put all the threads on there and it's like, oh, do you know what those threads will do? I'm not going to change them because I know the length of time it will take for me to actually get the new threads on there. But not when you're working with this one and you've got that little solid tray. Comes with that comprehensive guide, comes with a little dust cover and more importantly, it comes with loads and loads of overlocker threads as well. Three ways split with this one. So if you fancy taking advantage of it, the details are on your screen. £399 is your price and worth every single penny of that. So that is the overlocker locker that we were going to spend a little bit of time on so we've got a sewing machine as well now i'm just going to swap these around a little bit or shall i move which is easier does it matter shall i move since it's all set up let's move it so we'll move it now this one is your onyx 15 now this is a brilliant little machine as i would say a starter machine with this one to be fair um, it's a solid little machine so nice and easy for you to find your way around because basically you're using these dials and the dials will give you a whole host of different stitches with this one. Now, I can't remember how many stitches you've got on this. I've literally just come across from one set to the next. So you've got 23 stitches in total. Now, you might be looking at it and thinking, well, hang on a minute, 23 stitches. I have got 23 buttons and things like that. Well, that's because you use the two dials in conjunction with each other to access those stitches. So what you've got is the top one here, which is going to help you with your stitch length. So you can see you can go from stitching on the uh, spot. So things like putting buttons in place, maybe buttonholes, which you can do. It's a four step buttonhole foot. You've got your um, different lengths going right the way up to your four mil length. But you'll also notice that you've got S1 an S2. Now that is because this machine has got inbuilt stretch stitches. So you've got the blue S1 and you've got the grey S2. So this big dial that we've got down here where you've got all different stitches when you rotate it. Oops, let's just raise that needle up out the um, cavity. When you move that round, you will notice that you've got some stitches that are grey. You'll notice that some of those are blue. So to access the blue stitches, you bring that S1 round to the top. Okay, so that's your S1. And that now means that any of those blue stitches are activated. So this first dial that you've got, you've actually got three stitches 
within that setting. So if you've got it on the first setting, then it's the one on the left, which is your straight stitch. S1 is the stitch that's in the middle, which is your triple stitch with regards to your reinforcing. And then again, you've got your gray there, which is going to be your stretch stitch again. So with these, really, really easy, the conjunction of those two together. Now, if you were watching the show earlier on, we were talking about the Jade 35. I spoke about the sewing advisor. Sewing advisor is something that Husqvarna Viking are very, very proud of. It's something that they introduced. And sewing advisor is an inbuilt feature with your machine to help you get the right stitch dependent on the fabric that you're sewing with. And you've still got that on this machine. So even though you're only paying £329, this is going to teach you how to work with those fabrics. So down at the front here, which is a very clever little feature here. So this little feature, you've kind of almost got like a little, a little hidey hole there. And you, you wouldn't notice it, to be fair. So you slide that out. And there you will see. Now I'll try and tilt this up so as you can see. I don't want to basically bend that. But if I hold that like that, what you've got here are your different types of fabric. So you've got your woven and you've also got, uh, oh, it's just your woven on this particular one. So when you're working with your woven fabrics, if you wanted to do a straight stitch, you would use foot A. You would use the stitch and tension at three to five. You would have your length at 2.5. So it's one of those situations that is giving you all of the information for some of those shortcuts. But what if you're working with your stretch fabrics? Because don't forget, we've got a lot of stretch stitches on this one. This is really clever. And I love this. When I found this, I was like, oh my goodness. So. That little menu guide that we were just looking at a few moments, come and have another look at that because first sight you might think, oh, you've got that information there. But second sight, there's a second layer. Now on this layer, you've got your little icon there for your stretch fabrics. And you've also got your little icon there, your universal icon for things like your faux leather. So Nicola was using faux leather earlier on, wasn't she? So it could be that you're using that or oil cloth, things like that. And again, if you're using your straight stitch, it will tell you the foot that you need to use, which on this occasion, if it's your, um, your uh, kind of your faux leather, it's the foot H rather than foot A. And it will tell you. So you can use this as a reference guide to make sure that you've got the right foot, the right tension, the right stitch length for the right fabric and stitch combination. So that is really clever. Now, this has got um, feet in here that I haven't actually got on my sewing machine because one of the feet that's in here is your non-stick foot. So we spoke about working with faux leather and oil cloth. Well, this is a little foot here. So this is your non-stick foot. So think of non-stick um, so, um, saucepans. And this is something that you can utilise, and this will allow you to glide over. I'm doing it with my left hand for some strange reason there. It'll allow you to glide over your fabric. So, uh, yeah, it's really good that that is incorporated because there's not many machines that have that as standard. So that is in there as well. So you've got a whole wealth of different um, feet that are included in your machine. They all neatly fold away within that little um, storage capacity that you've got there. And it comes with a dust cover as well. So that is a beauty. But if you're shopping from us here at Sewing Street, you get something that you wouldn't normally get. And I'm just going to move those bobbins out of the way because I don't want to confuse the issue. But you are going to get these fabulous aero fill threads. And these are polyester threads that you're going to be able to use in loads of scenarios. You can put them in your bobbin if you want to. You can use them for your top stitches as well. But you are going to get them free of charge because that's the way that we do it here at Sewing Street. So if you fancy getting hold of your fabulous Onyx 15, then the details are there on your screen. £329, brilliant value. Busy for the overlocker, um, incidentally, as well. I know we don't have huge quantities. So if either of the machines you are thinking about, especially if you're thinking about that overlocker with that open area, access all areas, as I mentioned with this one, then today is the day for you to do so. Because if you're wanting to be able to get right into that nitty gritty of actually um, threading up your machine, then that is what you need to be able to do, isn't it? Get all in there. But we'll chat more about that perhaps as the hour goes on. So there we go. We're going to take a live or I have got a trolley in between. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh, he's off. He's moving. Oh, bless. I'm not too diva that I can't move a trolley. <laughs> just for the record. Now, I'm going to move over here. I'm going to take the tablet with me as well. Um, and also going to bring the early bird as well. So where are... I often... Where's the camera when we're doing this? Is it over there? Hello. I can't see it. But... Is it... 
right in the corner, right in the corner. Um, so, hello, I'm Hayley West. I've spent um, pretty much all the morning with you. And uh, I love it over here at Sewing Street. So um, I'm glad that you have found us and you are joining us here as well. So I've brought everything with me, including the early bird. So, um, what's the last mention? We're, we're talking about the machine. Right, okay. Now, um, I'm just going to move that out of the way. I don't know if we demonstrate. I'm going to set it off, though, because it's still stitching. So I'm going to let it carry on. So this is a machine that we, um, we should tell you about this morning. Eight o'clock. We only have three opportunities for you to get involved. It's not a machine that we readily have huge stocks of. When you're paying um, £1,200 for a sewing machine, you can imagine we don't have huge quantities. It's been a very, very popular one. It comes with the large hoop, to, um, 240 by, um, where am I, 150, which is one of the largest hoops I've come across with regards to an embroidery machine. And it means it gives you a whole hope whole hope a whole host of um, stitching out areas so this is actually stitching out a design that we learned how to create in the software earlier on just to give you a visual of the area that you can stitch out you've got this square there which is four inches which is pretty much your standard um, embroidery machine and then you've got the large green area which is where you can stitch out on this one now it's not just an embroidery machine it is a comprehensive sewing machine as well but I think you'll agree with the size of that hoop as it is and I'm going to flip that over because we didn't look at the underside of this that is one of the best telltale signs of a sewing machine so there you go you can see absolutely beautiful stitch out on the underside of that design so yeah if you do want to know more about the Husqvarna um, Viking Jade 35 we may touch on it a little bit more in this hour but this hour is dedicated to other tools so that is what we're going to turn our attention to but it's just to let you know that the um, stock of that one is very very um, limited with regards to availability but we might come back to that one it's tool time tool time now oh a matchbox schmetz needles i've got loads of schmetz needles that aren't in a box is that oh is that the one that one i thought that was a pack of um, staples i've lost my glasses somewhere i don't know what i've done with my glasses but anyway we're fine so you're going to get a box of wait for this 100 universal sewing machine needles now schmetz one of the most well-known uh, brands when it comes to sewing machine needles you've got your signage as you can see there you've got a fabulous little box i've got to be careful that i open this the right way does it slide out oh it might be seeped it's probably good because <laughs> we'll end up with hundreds all over the place oh i'll just push it out a little bit so you can see so they're all in there i'm not going to push it out too far as well Levi, see that's why I'm not very observant. <laughs> it's just a good. I didn't even notice it. Thank you, Levi. So yeah, so you've got that is so funny. Mind you, you're probably all messaging as well, saying that they're there. They're usually on top of my head, but anyway. So you've got that little drawer in. I'm not going to pull it much further than that, but you can see you've got your 100 needles in there. They are universal needles, so that is the key thing with this one. You'll be able to use them on any sewing machine um, for your general sewing. It works out just 39 pence per needle. Now, needles, we should be changing our needle each time we start a new project. <sighs> So it can affect your sewing so much it really can and it is something that we are all a bit naughty about so do think about it they do say every eight hours of sewing that you should be changing your needle yeah i know it's as readily as that so each time you're making a quilt um, you potentially should be changing your needle several times during the course of that project so if you're struggling, if you're finding that your stitches aren't forming properly, if you're getting jump stitches or missing stitches, then it's difficult to think that a needle can make that much difference. You think that it's just if it's blunt, it's going to make holes in your fabric. It's not. It's in the formation of your stitches as well. And that is a jolly good bundle, um, $39.99 for um, 100 needles in there. And that, do you know what? That would neatly fit within your accessory box on a sewing machine. So you've always got them there, haven't you? So I like those. I like those a lot. We have got special specialized machine needles as well so if you've got specific areas of sewing then you can shop for those too as well 
In fact, should we have a chat about those? So, you are going to get all of these. So, if you've been shopping for your embroidery machine, you've got your pack of embroidery needles. If you're a quilter, you've got a pack of quilting needles. If you're into your stretch fabrics, you've got your stretch needles in there. Top stitch, which so many of us do, don't we, on our bags and projects. Top stitch needles in there. All of these universal needles you're going to get in there. You're also going to get your jersey needles as well. So that's for your weightier stretch fabrics. You're also going to get your microtex needles. So again, those are going to be good for when you're working with your stretch fabrics and things like your scuba fabrics. Leather needles, they are going to be invaluable when it comes to creating things that have got that faux leather, not just your, your true leather in there. And finally, your jeans needles as well. So you're going to get all of those. You're covered for all eventualities, aren't you, with regards to your sewing when you've got a bundle like that. So, um, yes, if you fancy getting hold of those, all of them included. You've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 needles across the different stars there as well. So I think that's brilliant value for money. Um, so stretch in there, and you've got your top stitch in there, jersey. Um, you've also got things like your quilting needles, your universal and your embroidery needles, all of them coming together in them, that bundle. Jolly good, like that a lot as well. Oh, the lint. I've got to get myself one of these. I do, it's gone, it's sold out, so thank you. Um, yeah, we didn't have very many of those, so keep your eye open. We will have it back because it's one of our favourites, and I do really need to get hold of one of those. So, uh, yeah, it saved your favourite coat, did it? Oh, okay, well, there you go. Oh, then another salad, the ruler safety handle, which is... Oh, there. Biggest box, biggest box. That's gone as well. That has gone, so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not much, but there's no more. I was just thinking, what shall I say about it? Which is irrelevant, because you can't shop for it now either. Um, so, yeah, take advantage of that. So, uh, yeah, if you want to go for that. Now, where are my blades? There we go, rotary blades. Have a look at these, because, again, these are something that you need, aren't they? Your rotary blades, they make all of the difference when you come to sewing. So... Get your sharp blades. Again, if it start working with your rotary blade and it starts missing as it's cutting areas, what it will often mean is you'll apply more pressure. By applying more pressure, then you can go scooting off if you're not careful. And you know when you're working with a rotary blade, you really do need to be careful. So keep your rotary blades in tip-top condition. This one is a 45 mil, so it's your middle of the road one. So it's a brilliant one for, um, yeah, just your regular rotary, uh, rotary um, tool, should I say. Um, we haven't got one on the show today, but yeah, definitely consider getting hold of that one um, because you always need to have them in reserve. Don't shop for them. When you need them have them there ready to shop with and um, to use when you need them so yeah and it is incredibly and so I, I've cut myself with a rotary cutter in the past before and it, it's not a pleasant experience so yeah especially when you're due to be on air the next day and it's not because it's too sharp it's because it's blunt because when it's blunt you're putting more pressure on because you're wanting to get that cut right and by putting more pressure on it that's when it can go scooting off so yeah Get yourself those. The best $8.99 you could spend. So there you go. Make sure you get hold of those. So there we go. So that's those. What should we look at next? Can we look at the fusing mat? I love this. I love this. Now this is something that we do struggle to keep in stock. And I just, I think it's such a brilliant idea. It's almost like a one-time purchase though. So once you have bought it, you don't need to get more of them. But this is brilliant if you like your applique. So if you're into your Delphine Brooks designs, you need to get hold of one of these. Now, it comes as a two-parter because you're going to get your kind of non-stick mat as well. So I'm going to two ways of opening it up and I do it the wrong way. Now, you've got all of your markings, metric as well as imperial, and you've also got your, um, your Teflon sheet or your non-stick sheet, should I say. And this is brilliant for when you actually come to pressing your pieces in place. But the idea being is this is a non-stick surface. So when you're putting a plique or bondo web or anything like that fusible onto the back of a fabric, rather than you thinking, oh, I'll just give that a quick press on your ironing board and then finding it's actually fused to your ironing board, Put this down and it will mean that you can literally peel away those elements. It's also semi-transparent, which means you can put a paper pattern underneath. So if you've got a guide or an outline pattern that your cut pieces need to be constructed to create, you can see that underneath. So you'll be able to see under there and when it's actually in place. And then you're going to be able to put your panel together and then take the whole piece 
off your non-stick piece there onto your fabric and this will allow you to put pieces in place and actually press them um, into position as well without you actually having to put your iron on the surface of the fabric so it details all the different ways you can work with it there but it just means it's nice and easy for you to create those beautiful applique complex applique pieces and then they're just a nice easy way to do it and of course it's incredibly portable because you can just pick it up and take it away keep it within the box if you're wanting to because you can do if not you might find yourself putting it underneath your cutting mat but it is not a cutting mat so please do not get your um your cutting um done on it so yeah so yeah you, you probably only buy one unless you do use it as a cutting mat and then you will need to get yourself another one but yeah um, and we do do it there's um, um i think there's one that's the size of your ironing table as well so if you want a larger one you can get hold of that one not got it on the show today i haven't wound that up very well but we'll sort that out in a minute right your turn then the wool pressing mat i haven't got a wool press oh i have i'm lying <laughs> it's, it's underneath the grid now this is amazing value for money. Millward, we know, brilliant value, um, a, a brilliant company, should I say. Bring us things at such affordable prices, and that's exactly what we've got with this wall mat. Now, 1999, um, it's um, a 12-inch square, so lovely if you are working with your blocks. So, obviously, if you, you're putting out your blocks and you're actually pressing them in place, perfect. That's the universal kind of mime for ironing um, but also as well this is a good one if you're wanting to kind of block out um, pieces of um, it could be pieces of uh, applique knitting piece and not this applique crochet that's what I meant to say your crochet pieces because you can kind of spritz them with a little bit of water and actually put them if you've not got one in your stash it really does make the difference when it comes to pressing your work and because you've got something that's incredibly portable it encourages you to press the items as you're working with them so rather than doing numerous seams and then taking your piece to your ironing board then you can literally have that just to the side of your sewing machine and stitch away with it so yeah brilliant value for money millward um it is compacted down so when you do take it out of the packaging it will bounce up slightly but uh, yeah brilliant value so make sure you take advantage of that one while you've got the chance. So there, another one nice at all to have within your stash. So is it my turn? I'm going to bring in one of the things that I think. Now this, this, dare I say, is not the sexiest of products. But it's one of the most useful. I know I said sexy and it's not even the afternoon. So this is your Bozal batting seam tape. Now, this is going to turn all of those um, pieces of batting that you've got left over into usable pieces. It's also going to mean you can use your smaller um, wadding or batting and actually fuse it to another piece because um, all you need to do is uh, press it with an iron. It's very clever because the adhesive is just on one side and it's not going to add any bulk to your wadding. It's going to make it really easy for you to make a much larger piece of wadding that could potentially go on and use for projects. Maybe you're fundraising. Maybe you're using your scraps to make projects for charities to create because it's kind of you made something from nothing. And that's where these little kind of seam tapes are so useful because it means that you can use those scraps and turn them into projects that then your charity shop can um, sell or the, whichever charity it is that you're supporting. Um, and it's, it's like you've made your main project, so you've done what you sent out to achieve, but the bits that are left over, turn it into something usable that somebody else can take the benefit from. So there you go. Do make sure you take advantage of that one. It's a brilliant one, as I say, one that I use over and over again. So, yeah, do treat yourself to that. So there you go. Oh, is that a first for you, Ben? Oh, you've been around a bit as well, so I'm surprised. In more ways than one. But there we go. <laughs> um, now, have you got a choice or can I leap in with another one? I'm going to leap in just because you, you snooze, you lose, Ben. I'm in. I'm there. Um, and these are brilliant. These are your needle grippers. Um, I've got some. I don't actually call these needle grippers, I must admit. They're kind of, oh, a hemostat. Oh, I've not heard of that phrase. See, I use... See, I use another phrase, which I think is a, a, um, a surgical term, but again, it's another one that kind of makes me wince, as I say, forceps. Oh, yeah. But they're invaluable. They are brilliant. Um, and I use, like, oh, dear, I don't know if I was meant to do that, but anyway, sorry, Levi. There you go. Put that in there. Nobody will ever know. 
Um, so these are brilliant when you are turning through things. So they're brilliant because you can actually use them for, um, I mean, they call them needle grippers. So if you're wanting to hold a needle and thread your needle, then you can do. I don't use them in that way. I use them for actually turning through. So when I'm actually doing something where you've got to get right into the nitty gritty or something like a long tube, then you can actually feed that tube onto these, grip the end and then lock it. And then that means you can just literally use them to pull that fabric through. So these are invaluable. Um, as I say, if you're wanting to get hold of those, there are a variety of different ways you can use them. They're brilliant if you're wanting to change needles on an overlocker as well. So, yeah, if you're wanting to, to use those alongside your overlockers, then, yeah, do make sure that you're getting hold of those. So, yeah, do like those. And I, I'm being naughty as well because I'm sneaking in another one. If we're talking about turning through things, then these, as a turning set, are brilliant. And, again, the idea being is that you create a tube, you pop your tube, your medium or your large, through, and then you kind of put the end of the fabric over the end of the tube and you push it through with that almost like um, a pokey stick that you've got there it's all explained there so it just makes it nice and easy for you actually to turn through those um, slender pieces of fabric that you're creating so there you go go on then Ben your turn your 10 the fingertips of course you can the can can fingertips am I supposed to do a little dance with these <laughs> they're all sealed up so I can't now these are brilliant do you know those situations when you're working with fabrics that can be really quite bulky? I mean, we've got denim feature in here where you've got multiple layers and sometimes when you're pushing a needle through, I've actually had a needle break part, part way through when I've been stitching because it's just, you're pushing so much pressure and you can't necessarily get hold of the, the needle. I mean, you could use your needle grippers to pull it out if you wanted to, those that we were looking at earlier on. But this is just a really easy way for you to grab those needles as you work with them. You've got two sizes, so you've got your medium and your large. So you pop your finger or your thumb in there, and it just gives you that little bit of grip that you are able to get hold of the needle. And it's nice if you're working a bit of hand sewing and you're going through tough layers, might be leather, it might be um, oil cloth, it might be um, your de um, things like your um, denim as well. Lisa, yes, Lisa's bag, her satchel bags, potentially using it with those as well. So yeah, good tip. So there you go, if you're wanting to get hold of that. So uh, yeah, um, definitely do take advantage of this. You've got a little uh, um, button there that's been stitched in place and literally you pop that onto your thumb there. It gives you the grip to pull the nail. It does look like it's going through a thumb there, doesn't it? But it's not, they're holding it. I can see they're holding it. So there you go. If you fancy getting hold of that one, £5.99. pence. Another one that's just going to sit in your sewing box. And you've got like little pimples underneath there, which are your grippy bits. So there you go. Love it. Nice. And they're brilliant if you want to do a finger can-can as well, apparently. So there you go. Like it. Now, I had a situation earlier on where I was playing a little bit of bobbin roulette. You don't need to. You don't need to. If you're a bit like me and you leave it to the nth moment, to the last moment, to actually use your bob or get a bobbin wound up, because for some reason they don't take that long to do, but it's the, it's the thought of having to stop what you're doing to actually set up. Now, my embroidery machine is busy, 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 been whirring away during the course of the show. It's finished now, which is fabulous. But... What you could be doing is while it's doing its sewing out, getting all your bobbins ready. And that is the beauty. Now, this is a simplicity side winder. Now, it does come with bobbins. I think you can use it for universe. I'm not going to open it up, actually. I think you can kind of swap out because you've got your clear bobbins down here as well as your metal bobbins. So you literally are lining it up. You'll feed through your thread. And then you just press button and off it goes. You can tension it. So if you've got different types of threads that you're working with, you can alter the tension on there. But that means you could be getting all of your bobbins, put your bobbin fill on there, get your bobbins all loaded up, ready for when you need them. So rather than you having to stop your sewing and then thread up a bobbin, you've got them all ready to go. So very affordable at $19.99. Nice little Christmas gift for somebody as well. And definitely a very, very useful tool to have. You need to get some batteries to pop into it. I don't think it comes with the batteries. They don't often, do they? Um, so the batteries, I don't know which size batteries you use with it. I can't see it on there. It's all in French. It's all in French and my French is not very good. We think they are the ah uh, batteries. It's either a little ah, uh, which is two A's, or a long ah, uh, <laughs> which is three A's. Absolute bonkers they are over here. 
So there you go. <laughs> so imagine going into the and asking, can I, which batteries you need? I need the R ones. <laughs> Not the R, the R. <laughs> Oh dear. I think we're getting a bit cabin fever in here, aren't we? Um, what should we do next? The ham. Ham. Oh, I just fancy ham. A bit ham. Now, do we get both of them together or are they individuals? Okay, right. I will bring the other one in afterwards to share. So, so this is your ham. Now, tailors regularly use these and these are brilliant because if you've got tricky areas that you're wanting to sew and um, or press out should I say the shoulder seam in a jacket or in a shirt is quite a tricky one to get to so you can actually put this inside and actually press onto it so that is the beauty of this as a tool you can use pins in it if you're needing to keep things in place um, and it's just a really useful tool to have Quite often, I have wanted to get in to kind of press something that's quite three-dimensional. And I've done things like roll up tea towels or pieces of fabric to actually pad out that area of socks. Yes, <laughs> yeah. um, but why? Why? 11 99 You only need to buy it once and then it makes life so much easier. And it's also got that kind of firmness to it that you wouldn't get if you were using your rolled up towel or piece of fabric or whatever it is that you use for your socks. <laughs> No, Ben, I'm not saying that out loud, but you can if you want to use your pants, but there you go. Um, 11.99, 11.99, that's all that it's going to cost you there. <laughs> yeah, warm pants, yeah, I like that idea. So there you go, if you want to get in hold of yours, then please do so. Details on your screen, 11.99, one-time purchase. It's a really useful tool to have. Um, and yeah, you'll just keep it close to hand, keep it by your iron. So keep it by your iron, then you'll kind of use it for all of those different little bits of sewing so yeah very useful tool to have so as i said it's the firmness that makes a difference with that i don't know what they put inside them to be fair but it's very firm so so uh, there you go 11.99 is it strong i don't know it feels very firm but so it could be a bit of rice don't let it get wet um so there you go if you fancy getting hold of yours now you've got your sleeve roller as well so this is the other one so there's all oh, somebody's already been at it with a pin so yes you can use this one maybe you have got i don't yeah i don't think it comes with that so i'm going to pop that in the end there pin not included but again if you've got sleeves so if it's a case that you're needing to kind of press seams or cuffs and things like that then this you just literally pop it into the sleeve of whatever it is that you're creating or anything that's tubular and then obviously you can press and you've got that compact area again that's going to give you the support for you to actually push down onto with your iron to get a really professional finish. So $8.99, $8.99, that's all that you're paying for that. Those two together, I think with the two together, is a fabulous gift for somebody as well. And they coordinate. So, yeah, do consider that as well. Oh, batteries. What's the message about batteries? Good morning. The bobbin winder takes double A batteries and two of them. So it's like, ah, just a little, ah, not ah. <laughs> There you go. And you wouldn't be without yours. That's good to hear, Sonia. Thank you. There you go. So Sonia's got one of those. Two double eight batteries. So there you go. It's good to know that you're watching. Good to know you're watching because it's been a bit kind of at the moment. And that you might well be, but I'm not going to talk about it. No, we're, we're keeping things happy. Because we're just do, we're just carrying on as normal. So there you go. Right, what's next then, Ben? The mini iron. Now... This is brilliant because if we're doing our pressing and we're using things like our hams or we're using our fuse mat, you need to have a decent quality iron or your pants pen. It's obsessed with his pants. Now, this is brilliant. This is beautiful. So this, look at this. This comes in an incredible case. I mean, this is a kind of quality, isn't it, when you see a case like that. So zip around. And this means that when your iron is going into this, even if it's got that little bit of heat still in there, you can pop it in here. Now, it comes in a little jug. And the reason being because this particular iron has got the ability for you to use a steam feature. It's got all of the features that you would have on your big iron. So 
You could take it on your holidays if you wanted to. Um, and uh, from Quilted Bear, it's got all the features that you would want from an iron. You've obviously got your cord there and your three pin plug. You've got all of the different temperatures there. So you can go from your coolest setting, your little arrows at the bottom there, coolest setting right the way through to your hot setting. You've even got your steam jet button. So if you've got water in there, I should have checked that before I pressed it because it could have been water just shooting off. Um, you've got your maximum level with regards to the water. So you can see that is in there and of course you've got your ability to do your steam whether you're pressing it down and holding it or whether you're releasing it so not only is your steam jet it is one of those situations where you can have it on continual steam looks like a little mouse as well do you not think it does look like it needs little ears um, nice comfortable handle which obviously is where you are going to wind your cord around there's a decent amount of cord on this one as well so yeah it's a good long length so yeah if you are using it as a quilt iron i mean those two together, I mean, that is a brilliant idea, isn't it? If you're going for your, your wall mat and your iron. So nice little Christmas present. So, uh, yeah, fabulous little line. Um, I will mention as well, dual voltage with this one as well, because sometimes we do get that question, because if you go um, on your travels with this one, you can change the voltage over should you need to. You might just need to get a little pokey tool in there or something, because it's, it's not a sticky out button. You've got to get in there. But it's on there. So I just thought I'd mention it anyway. Um, so there you go. If you want to get hold of your little travel iron, um, I'll have people shouting at me at the way I'm winding this up because you're supposed to be careful, aren't you? Because you can twist it and break it. But I haven't got time. I've just got to literally get it in there and onto the next item. So there we go. Oh, neatly bundled up. Oh, I forgot to put the bag in. There we go. Let's <laughs> just shove it in there. Um, and there you go. One little iron in its case, all from Quilted Bear. So a brilliant little iron, brilliant value for money. Um, and uh, I think jolly good value for money. So the last thing that we've got that we're going to share with you on an ironing stage, because we've got lots of other gorgeous. We've got loads. Oh, we've got the clap. Oh, we've got the cleaning stick as well. Yeah, I'll get ready with that. Now, this is brilliant, the clapper. This is another one-time purchase. And this is brilliant because this is going to help you set your seams. So um, brilliant, brilliant wood. What's, what type of wood is this? Is it beech wood? It is beech wood. I wasn't entirely sure. So the idea behind this is when you are creating your seams, so imagine the scenario. You've got your wall pressing mat. You're pressing out your seams. You come on with this and you press that down. Now that is going to not only set your seam, but allow it to cool down. And it's the cooling down of those fibres that's going to lock it in place. So you've got that lovely smooth finish there. So that is going to mean that those seams are set in place. But what you've also got is these two little ends here. So you've got a pointy end there. So if you do need to get into the nitty gritty of something, you can kind of put that, push that right into the area. And you've also got a flat end there. I think that if you wanted to, you could actually use that almost like a, a kind of a heat um, press. Um, but you could use it to, you know, sometimes you use like a little seam molar. I think potentially you could use that if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, it's just a useful, uh, useful tool. One time purchase, as I said. But the idea being is that you use that smooth base there to set your seams in place. Take the heat out. And by taking the heat out, you're letting those stitches in the fabric cool. And they will set in place and give you a fabulous finish. So there you go. Again, it's another one of those tips of the trades within um, kind of... Um, things like um tailoring and stuff like that so yeah you'll you'll often see these these tools being used in tailoring so there you go if you fancy getting hold of that one you can do pop that over there so shall we clean our iron oh gosh i need these i got myself into such a pickle because i'd got the setting wrong on my iron and i didn't notice so straight after to using something that was kind of had got um uh, a polyester content in it literally melted onto the bottom of my eye i didn't notice and i went over a light piece of fabric and it was like oh no i've ruined it everywhere it was horrible it was a mess i needed one of these so with this we're going to get two of these aren't we do we get one or two you get one okay so when yours comes to you it's going to look like this um, and then you can see there, obviously, it's wiping off those scorch marks, starch marks, and any burnt marks. And it comes in a little kind of carry case. So when you actually take yours out of the packaging, it will come like so. And there you go, that is your tool. And I think, can you pop it? And there you can, there you go. So you pop it into the handle. And then you would literally take, if you imagine that is your iron, and it's hot, you'd literally 
push that on there and it literally will melt away. Melt away all the gunk and horribleness that you've got. Um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, that the thing that you have to be, that's very true, actually. Um, put the steam through your iron as well. Also, as well, kind of iron some um, almost like waste cloth, cloth that you, you're not, isn't precious to you. Um, because if there's any residue on there, you don't want it going on your posh fabrics, do you? So, yeah, so just make sure you do that. From um, um, Visaline, so yeah, brilliant value for money. Again, it's one of those that it can be quite a costly affair if you're ruining your fabrics, but for 4 99 definitely worth getting hold of. So I have to say with regards to that as well. Um, so, uh, yes, um, fabulous, fabulous threads. Just having a little look around if there's anything else. Things like your best press that we've got, your basting sprays, all incredibly useful, which you will find on the website. But I just wondered, could I indulge myself on my embroidery? Because I've been looking at it from the corner of my eye. So... We had a lovely show early on. It's actually an hour and a half because there's so much to cover within this machine. Um, and this is the Jade 35. Now, I'm just moving all this lot out of the way because it is quite a big machine because it's an embroidery machine. And you can see it's been busily stitching away, having a lovely old time of itself, and has created a fabulous embroidery. Now, I'm going to take this embroidery off because it's told me that it's finished. So I am going to unclip that and I'm going to take the embroidery off, lift up the, um, the foot. There you go. Now, if you were watching earlier on, oh, should we do it over the top? Let's do it over the top there. Sorry, Lee, I'm making him run backwards and forwards, bless him. He has to move that camera, so we'll do it on that one. That's fine. So here, sadly, I ran out of thread. <laughs> But it's all made, I was playing bobbin chicken and it, I ran out of thread. I didn't check before I started. So we have got a change there that you can see. Um, but we designed this. So we turned one of the, the actual um, fonts that I've got on my computer. I turned it into an applique font, made that letter S there. And then you can see, obviously, the, the sew was created. But I ran out of thread. I didn't check how much thread I got to start with, so apologies for that. But this fill that you've got, which is almost like a brick effect, was um, one of those designs that uh, we did within the software. On the back here, you can see you've got, obviously, your, um, your stitches going on there, um, all neat and tidy, so really good. No birds nesting or any mess with that. Um, and it's just a really, really lovely machine. It's one that I was stitching out on earlier on. And the things that I love about this machine is the stitch out area because most um, embroidery machines within this price bracket, you're looking at that four inch square. That's the area that you can stitch out. But with this one, you've got that much larger area. So it's actually 240 mil by 150 mil, that stitch out area. And it gives you loads and loads of scope with regard to actually sewing out. So that is the beauty of this one. Means that when you actually get the hoop, now the largest hoop that it will use is included. So you don't have to go off and find that. That is included. But it gives you the scope to create some amazing projects. Things like this little owl um, is one of the inbuilt designs. So that is a project that you could be creating. Um, you've got a fabulous guide where there's loads and loads of different projects all within the USB stick that are included. But the beauty is you can also use the software as well because it comes with an introductory software which is Windows and Mac compatible. Um, you can also as well go to the Husqvarna Viking website and download my Sonet if you want to work with a tablet because you can kind of download the app and work that way. Um, but you've got projects in here, projects that you can do. Sometimes you'll hear um, a phrase of um, created in the hoop. Well, that's what you've got here. You've got a little um, project which is um, a little kind of zipped pouch. I haven't got mine to share with you. I don't know what I've done with it. But you've got like a little pouch that you could create. And it even puts the zip in place. So what it does is it tells you step by step the different areas that you need to do. Um, and each time you will stop and you'll either add your fabric, add your stabilizer and so on. All of these beautiful designs are included. And of course, oh, I found the little purse. There it is. I knew it was somewhere. So there's a little purse that you could be creating. So that is all done within the hoop. Um, it could be that you're utilizing some of the fabulous stitches because it's not just an embroidery machine. It is um, a fabulous um, sewing machine as well. And then, of course, you have got the ability to utilize all those gorgeous stitches which are included. Oh, I've got quite a little message. Oh, Christine. Hello, Christine. It's good to have your company. What's she saying? Um, hi again, Hayley. You're all 
doing a fantastic job, bless you. Keep doing what you do, um, Beth. Oh, lots of love. Loving all the wonderful sewing. Oh, thank you. We just keep going. We just keep going. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. That's all you can do, isn't it? Um, so there you go. You've got the, um, all these projects all included so you can craft and create these as well. So the owl, brilliant, absolutely wonderful. So this machine, you've got loads of designs built in. You've also got the software that will allow you to create yourself, which is what we did with the word so, but you've also got large designs. Because you've got that big hoop, that is the design that I've got on my shirt, and that is done in different colors. So mix up the colors, play around with the design, and you can create some fabulous things. And the fact that you're getting so much within a machine for £1,249, you've got a five-year warranty with this. Five-year warranty. And as I said, I will share the links to some little YouTube videos that will take you through from everything. So that is the key thing. Even if you are the most novice of crafters, then uh, or so is, should I say, then you're going to find your feet with this one. Um, this is another little project that was created a while ago, turning um, a font into an applique. So you can see there, um, Molly. Um, again, that's another design that is inbuilt within this one. But it's not just about those inbuilt designs. It's about your regular sewing that you're going to be able to do as well and that personalization quite often people will invest in embroidery machines because they want to do the personalization so this is a little napkin bought the napkins from um, the big river website um, but I could have made them as well if I wanted to but that is using a little bit of embroidery um, thread there with the personalized initials they had um, a bit of a kind of eucalyptus theme to their wedding, so picked out a couple of little leaves. And then you've got the actual date of their wedding featuring in there. Some of the designs as well are what we call freestanding lace. So get yourself some water-soluble stabiliser. That's got a little bit of um, organza in there, so you could actually be hanging those on your tree, couldn't you, if you wanted to. But you can team it up with other things that we love as well. So things like your William Morris, as you can see, I'm sure you recognise that. Creating little purses. You've got applique designs that are in there as well. So you really have got a whole host of different things that you can be doing. All within the capabilities of that embroidery and sewing machine the guide itself will take you through everything so don't worry about that everything you need to know about the machine and once you get yourself into that software you will be having loads of fun and don't forget you've got the sewing advisor as well the sewing advisor is going to help you with regards to you actually creating those um, projects as well because it means that you've got the right stitch the right tension the right foot for all those different sewing um, situations. And there you go, gives you an overview of some of those stitches that are featuring there as well. So loads of fun to be had, I have to say. Consider the full set of feet, so your utility foot right the way through to your one-step buttonhole. And you've also got your embroidery foot for when you do your embroidery, but you can utilize that for your free motion work as well if you wanted to do a bit of free motion work. And your glide plate there. So if you're sewing on those tricky fabrics, like the faux leather that we were chatting about earlier on with Nicola, then you can pop that in place to make sure you get a jolly good sew out of that as well. So there you go, Jade 35. I just love it. I just love it. It's one of the machines that I always get excited about. And I know it's been a bit of a funny day today and that you perhaps haven't been able to see as much of its capabilities as we would usually see. But I'm hoping that we will be back again with this one because I know we had good quantities of these and I know lots of you have shopped for them. So, yeah, um, if it's a machine you want to go for, then please do so. It comes alongside a fabulous little drawer unit, which I haven't got to hand. I don't know what I've done with it. But it comes with 48 threads in that lovely little cherry wood box that you've got there as well. So it's a brilliant little way of getting started in a new area of sewing potentially for you as well. So it's got five split pays on it. So you could get involved with this for as little as £249.99p. I think that's right. Um, and that means that you are able to um, get this on its way home for that first payment and then have loads of fun with it. I think I found the threads I have. I found the thread. So this is the box of threads that you get. How beautiful does this look? Absolutely brilliant. Teaming up with Madeira, it's a brand that I love thread-wise. And what you've actually got is two drawers full 
a fabulous aerofill. Now, aerofill is a polyester thread that is brilliant for all sorts of different situations. And the beauty of this is you've actually got the colour of that thread, so you know exactly where it needs to go back to. And if you do want to get more of it, you can do as well. So you've got all of your gorgeous neutral colours, as you can see there. In addition to that, you have got your brights as well. So all of these in that fabulous case, Normally, for this, you'd be paying between 130 and 150 pounds, depends on where you shop. I think we sell them for about 130 here. Um, but you don't have to pay for them, not if you are going for the Jade 35, because it is included with your machine. And they just pop in there and just look gorgeous. Look beautiful. So there you go. Thank you for your company in our tool hour. Very limited, so if you are thinking about getting hold of your Jade 35, please do not leave it too long. I know you might want to have a conversation with your other half. Maybe it's a case of it's going to be an early Christmas present, or maybe you're just going to treat yourself. Um, and I can't think of a better way to treat yourself. And you know where I am. If you've got any questions that you want to ask, just get involved. So, uh, yeah, I will get back to you. Might not be within the next hour, though, because I'm back with you after the hour of the lovely Nicola. And we're going to be looking at some more of her fabulous patterns. So I will see you the other side of this. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband, and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now, and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross stitch, or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers, and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine, and it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques, I love to draw and create antiques for the future, and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. 
Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. that last hour of the day when we started off this morning at 8am I thought oh my goodness we've got a long stretch ahead of us but we've had so much fun so much fun throughout so yes it's been really good fun and it's been lovely to have your company as well you've kept us going so we appreciate that but I am very thankful that this last hour is going to be a wonderful hour with Nicola because she's back again Nicola how are you doing very well thank did you did you get yourself a nice cup of tea I did of coffee? had a cup of tea good 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 yes so all refreshed and ready to go again. yes Love it. Now, we did meet Nicola in the last hour, which was at um, 10 o'clock, um, with some fabulous bag patterns. And we are continuing to talk about bags in this hour um, because we've got more kits to share with you as well. And this is the Wonder Bag. It is. I love it. Mm -hmm. So tell me about this because it's like a bag attached to a bag. Yes. So as I said earlier, um, I go to work and I have got all the bags and then mainly I have like my big bag okay. with everything in it. And when I pop out at lunchtime, I want to be able to just take a little bag with me. So I thought that actually if I could condense all those bags into a bag that came apart, the straps could move about as I liked it to, um, all my purses can clip back in and clip back out, okay. which was the concept behind the Wonder Bag. Um, so as you can see, the main bag is big enough to carry a laptop, um, books, Oops, anything. Size. That you, yeah, it's huge. Um, <laughs> it's got that double zip so it can open both ways. Look at all of that space. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. That is huge. Now, we're seeing this and you will get used to this because you will see this time and time again when we see the bags coming through from Nicola because this is a feature that you will see. The reason being is the idea behind the bags is you've got components that can transfer from bag to bag. They will clip it in place like so. But this is... Now, does this bag actually... I thought it did. I didn't want to pull at it in you case it's... You can pull at it. Look at this. How clever is this? Because if you wanting to just pop out, literally, you can unpop that bag and then take that one with you. You don't have to take the whole uh, bag with you. That is ingenious. <laughs> I love it. That is a brilliant yeah. idea. And it just literally pops back in place when you want it to go onto the um, side of your bag. So really, yeah. really clever. And of course, you've got a huge strap, as you can see. Now, we've got choices because this one is the car key. Yes. Um, we've also got the denim. So let me show you how it comes to you because you will get your go um, gorgeous box of goodies. This is the best bit, isn't it, when you actually open that box up. So are we ready? Because I've not looked in this one yet. I have to say, seeing the bag kits that we saw earlier on, Nicola, I just love this bit. 
yeah. opening the box. It's always special to get a gift, Absolutely. even if it's a gift to yourself. Even if you know what's coming out. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Can you see what's coming? <gasps> now, Nicola, talk me through what we've got here. I mean, I love this. I what's know. this? So, uh, some new webbings that I've sourced to go in my bag kits. Um, I love a bit of animal print. That and looks fabulous. these ones, I just think, are so special. They're superb quality. Beautiful. You've got the metallic, gold, um, animal print with love the, it. pale blue. And yeah, I'm just really pleased. I have got some more to come as well. Oh, I'm so excited, excited over these webbings because I love a pretty, pretty Lovely. Things. Bit biased in there as well. Yeah, so the seams on the lining are bound. Okay. So we've added the bias binding um, just because there's no other way to get the bag to go together Fair other than enough. binding seams. Um, I'm glad that you've put some of your quality findings in there as well because they are brilliant and you're going to get those in there as well. So for your straps, as you can see, Featuring there, we've got a third one. Is that for the little bag? Yes. Ah, okay. Fair enough. That's for inside. Wonderful. So we've got those in there. Oh, look at that. I thought it was a metal zip. It is a metal zip, yeah. isn't it? Oh, double puller. Oh, nice. Like that antique look there as well. I do. Very, very effective like that. So you've got that really weighty. And that's going to go on the uh, the big bag. Yes, that's for the big bag. So you can easily get in, grab your laptop out, grab your Love writing it. books, or whatever it is that you like to take away. Yeah. I thought as well, I'm going away at the weekend for the night. Okay. Um, and it's nice to fill your bag with all the stuff. It's an overnight. Yeah, yeah, but then I've got my evening bag attached to the front and I just pop it off. Good idea, actually. Now, you're going to get your fabrics in there as well. Now, oh, I just love denim. I do. I love denim. I love working with denim as well because it's a beautiful fabric to work with. So you're going to get, obviously, we were looking at the car key. So the car key bag is replaced with your denim on this occasion if you're going for this one as your choice. The bag on the front, rather than it being the berry that we saw, you've got that gorgeous copper tone in there. And you've also got the additional bits and pieces. So things like your D-rings are in the box as well. Um, all quality items, so you don't have to go off and find anything, it's all included in there. Well, I say that, we don't need anything else, it's all in here, just a bit of thread. Yeah, it's all, you just need your thread, everything else is included. Perfect, I love it, and you've got your wadding in there as well, which is going to help you with your construction. So, that is your denim version, with that, I mean, that's an amazing strap, isn't it? I love that strap. I love it. That is fabulous. Well, you must have squealed when you saw that strap. Yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's very exciting. You've also got your second colourway, which, of course, we have seen made up, but I will still show you the box because if you're buying this for yourself or if you're buying it as a gift for somebody, then it is all important to see that experience, isn't it? So there we go. If we open it up, there you go. All of that goodness in there. Oh, and there's that fabulous strap again beautiful the strap the findings the binding you've got your zip in there as well and of course you've got that fabulous I mean, it's a really good white canvas that one that yeah you've got it's in there. gorgeous it's a lovely lovely canvas. Um, and that khaki colour, obviously, you've got your Bosal in there as well. Uh, was it H640, oh, no. sorry? Yeah, that's H640, it. I'm sorry, yes. So H640 is in there as well, so brilliant. And ultimately, this is what you're going to be making, especially if you go down the route of the khaki option that we've just looked at. So you can see the strap being made, the handles, your fabulous bag with that berry tone. And, of course, the beauty is it's detachable. You can take it with you when you're going out and about, leaving your big bag under under your desk potentially at work and then do forget uh, do, don't forget should I say to go and look at the other patterns that we've got because the other patterns that we have available from Nicola will help you create your accessories now obviously the two boxes we've gone through you are going to get your pattern included and the pattern is for your wonder bag that's what we're looking at the moment and the brilliant name for it I have to say <laughs> um, you can shop for the pattern by itself as well but the majority of you are going for the kit because it makes sense you've got everything you need if you go for the pattern it's great you can use your own fabrics but you're already getting that anyway so that's 12.99 but you've got to go off and find all the bits and pieces and that's the bit that can be the trickiest thing isn't it I mean I wouldn't even know where to start looking for webbing as fabulous as this I know, I'm really lucky I've got a great supplier who's um yeah sourced these for me so they're gorgeous perfect so there we go um if you fancy that as a kit then the details are on your screen um 
one of the new things that we've brought to Sewing Street is one item number with multiple options and it's really easy. All you need to do is click on the little drop down box to get your choice. So when you go to the website, it will look much the same as it has done previously. All you need to do is click where it says colour, you've got blue or your khaki as you can see there. Then you add to your basket and then off it goes into your basket. If you want to go for both options, which you can do, it's not a problem with that, just go back in and click on the blue option. So there you go. It's as easy as that. Um, are we going to finish there or should we have a little chat about the infinity scarf as well? Fabulous. Correct answer, Ben. Correct, because I wanted to tell you about that. Oh, that made a funny noise then, didn't mm -hmm. it? That wasn't me. That was the box. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is brilliant. I was talking about infinity scarves earlier on when we were looking at William Morris fabric. Oh, so, yeah, I love the fact that we've got a pattern as well. I didn't know that that was the case. But we're looking at the twisted headband and the infinity scarf. So what have we got here then? So I've got these gorgeous um, Lewis Snyrine fabrics that, um, and Ooh, I know <laughs> so Lewis Snyrine quilting cottons are just stunning anyway, but I think it's really good to just move away sometimes from traditional projects and traditional quilting to using these quality fabrics in something good a bit point. different. And this is, it's a wintry collection, so I thought it would work really nicely with the plush fleece. Gorgeous. To make Very you soft. something to keep you warm. So you've Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. So there you go. So you've got your infinity scarf and your headdress, beautifully um, coordinated with the little kind of speckles and dots that you've got in there. Again, as a kit with the pattern. And this one is called your winter botanical. So open up the box. It's all about opening up the box. Oh, the tissue paper as well. I love it. Let's move this out of the way. So when you open it up this time, what are you going to get in there? Well, you're going to get the most incredible fabric. So you've got, obviously, your pattern, because you need your pattern. Kind of mm -hmm. key. Yep. Um, then you've got your elastic, which we saw, obviously, the elastic being used. Rather generous amount of elastic, I have to say. Yes. <laughs> way more than it looks like you need. So that's in there. Now, tell me about the fabrics that we've got, because these are beautiful. They are stunning, aren't they? We're um, putting three fat quarters into the box. This is um, fat quarter projects. So you can choose um, which you like to use. You might want to mix them up a bit. Um, you could even quilt um, at your pieces to create the um, items. And Useful. then um, they've got metallic elements, like per pearlized metallic elements to yeah. them. They really do feel wintry. And on the, be the berry one, I mean, they, they all work so well together because you've kind of got that little almost like ditzy flower there coming through on the, uh, the fabric where you've got kind of like your holly berries um, and your holly there as well. And then, of course, you've got the little dots coming forward in the grey there as well, um, which hopefully you can pick up that gorgeous metallic feel that you've got there. But you're getting to get all three of those, three fat quarters, did you say? Yes. Those? And I have to say, this, I, I think I just, I need two kits, one that I can sit and stroke, because it's so soft. It's a beautiful plush. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's really soft. It's lovely. So it's beautiful. Um, lining the headband is really, the idea was to keep your ears warm. So it's a stylish way to keep your ears warm. If you don't want to wear a hat and have a flat okay. head, it yeah. just sits nicely around your head. Good idea. The elastic is, because we're working with quilting cottons, just so that you can um, adjust the elastic to fit your own head size. Um, I always find that hats don't ever fit me. I, um, I yeah. So I prefer to have something that just I can adjust and snugly. Well, we've done a show before, so I feel like we're, we're good friends. I get a sweaty head when I wear a hat. I do too. So, yeah. And my I, hair I, goes frizzy. I think. And you head, end up with that hat yeah. hair, don't you? So I like the idea of a headband, I have to say. <laughs> Really beautiful. So there you go. Um, so two beautiful projects that you'll be able to create utilising those gorgeous fabrics. And of course, you will have your pattern that you can go on and use your own fabrics with as time goes on. And I've got a feeling you can have way more elastic in here than you need. So maybe that is the start of your next project as well. Just £19.99. pence. If you want the pattern just by itself, you can. But why would you shop for a pattern when... It's such an affordable bundle in the first place. So $7.99 is your price just for the pattern by itself. Was it an extra fiver it worked out at? Was it 12? How much was it for the kit? $19.99, I do apologise. But even so, when you're looking at that, an extra $12.99, I've got $12.99 in my head somewhere. Mm. For all of that fabric, three fat quarters, your elastic and that gorgeous plush fabric that you've got in there as well. Definitely go for it as the bundle. Definitely. You're going to love those fabrics as well. 
So there we go. Those are the selection of patterns that we're touching on during this hour. But of course, um, Nicola's patterns from the previous hour, which is 10 o'clock this morning, are still available on the website if you're wanting to go for those as well. So Nicola, I think we're going to come over to you for a demo. Lovely. Are you ready for us? I am. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. What you got planned? Mm -hmm. Okay, because the poppers are quite a key element in the um, Wonder Bag, okay. um, I thought it'd be good to show you how they go together. I'm not for those of you who haven't seen um, or used the poppers before. It um, and also using the prim tool, it's just been a game changer for me. Okay. So I thought I'd quickly show you how it all goes together. Lovely. So I've got the outer and also the flap here okay. so I'm just going to quickly sew together the lining <laughs> this time I've put the right sides together oh bless you <laughs> I had words with the sewing machine as well and it's promised to behave good good because mm -hmm. it, it was a really naughty sewing machine earlier on it really was Foot pedal lovely so I'm just going to there we go that's it get yourself <laughs> it doesn't here. quite reach the floor, but it just about. Oh, I know they hover a bit. I know. The counters are so high. <laughs> it's okay. I've got it sorted. So I'm just going to sew this together. Lovely. I've still got my walking foot on. Okay. Just in case I need it later on when putting the bag back together. But also, it really does help with nice straight lines. That's a good tip, actually, yeah. Just keeps things running nicely. And obviously everything is explained within the pattern, so things like your seam allowance, things like the stitch length. Yeah, everything is in detail down to tips with sewing with different types of fabrics and lovely oh i like a top tip <laughs> yeah i always find as i go along um, when i was creating these and i found that as i was going I, something would come up and i thought oh, i must write that, that down in the pattern yeah. because Share it. <laughs> if it's just come up to me i thought oh that's a good point i need to mention that so i'm just going to clip those corners a little bit and trim that seam wonderful and again, if it's a new type of fabric for you to work with, don't worry about it because uh, we had loads of hints and tips in the last hour. Um, so walking foot, ideal if you are working with your faux leathers. Um, it might be invested in the Onyx machine that we were chatting about earlier on that had actually got a non-stick foot in there as well. You might already have one for your machine, but uh, yeah, it's a nice fabric to sew with. So don't worry about it. Don't be hesitant. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really easy. Okay. I'm not going to top stitch that in place right now. Okay. But you would normally, once you've turned your flap the right way out, look, if you're going to press it, press it from the fabric side, but not in a hot yeah, setting. Yeah, you have to be careful, don't you? With those yeah, leather. I'd put a tea towel over the top, but okay. you could probably get away with it. And it's definitely worth top stitching in place just to hold everything nice and flat. Gives that professional finish. It gives, well, yeah, it gives yeah. a beautiful finish, but and it holds everything together lovely okay so there's just one um popper that i'm going to put on the flap and this one is the the innie one so, the, yeah you've got an outer and an, and an innie know where they meant to say male and female i know an in and an out yeah, yeah. <laughs> see um okay so the i've if you haven't used the prim tool before it's it's been a game changer for me i've um popped in the hole punching um attachment okay and i've gone with the smallest two and a half mil um hole so i've got the corresponding little um piece just on the bottom there i'm going to pop i've drawn onto the fabric um where the placement of where i want the popper to go okay and i'm just going to like oh, line that up underneath and these um levers have got different levels so if what you can do is lock it up right so it doesn't fall down like it just ah, did okay i've not seen this tool before oh okay <laughs> lovely okay so i'm just going to make sure that my dot is directly on top of the base and i'm going to release the lock and just check that 
the tip of the puncher is hovering over the top. So just before you press down. Now, do you need to be built like Mr Universe to use this? Absolutely not. Because it's, um, because it's sat on the table, the pressure from underneath on the ah, table okay. is taking the pressure from ha you having to use both arms. Right. So the tension from pushing down reacts with the tension from the table. Bit of physics there. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Sneaky physics. So you just... Oh that gosh, little that was confident, wasn't it? So that little click was the hole. Okay. There we go. So I've got my hole punched in. And that's gone the fabric. through faux leather as well as the lining fabric. Yeah. Wow. So easy. Very and clean cut. Fusible fleece. So I'm now going to take this tool out. Okay. And put those aside. I've now got the this little tool which comes with the set. When you buy your set of, um, whether it's rivets or poppers, they come with the corresponding tools that will go in to the top of this machine. Lovely. Uh, and I'm guessing it comes with instructions and things as well. It does, but it also comes with YouTube videos. Oh, even better. So there's lots of YouTube videos. It's because it's such a new machine, It's um, there's not loads out there. There's lots developed by um, Prim, but there's loads of vloggers that have got um, oh, okay. tips out there. That's probably why I've not seen it before, if it's such a new one. Um, details are on the screen, so if you do want to get hold of it, then you can do. So the um, outy for this one is the, so the other side is a nice silver um, button. Nice. I do need to find them in gold to match the other hardware, but for now we've got the silver. I want to make sure that I've got my right side facing down. I've got my tool pushed into there because I want the popper side to be on the lining side. So there's a bit of a raised area there on the rivet there that goes through the hole. Yeah. Perfect. And then I'm just going to pop the other side of the popper on top. Again. There we go. Oh, wow. So then you've got the first popper in place. Perfect. So on the other side of your outer bag, you would put the corresponding piece, so then it just pops back in and that's, fits together. That's what we've actually got, um, obviously, with the bag that I've got here. So just showing you the bag that sits on the front of the bag, so to speak. So um, this is the Wonder Bag. So um, it's wonderful and wonder bar <laughs> as well. Um, so the actual uh, popper itself, so obviously that's the popper for closing the bag, but the poppers that we just saw in action are the poppers that are attaching your bag to the main bag which I think is such a clever idea it means that when you're out and about you can just kind of pop the two together so take both bags with you um, so the wonder bag is made up of the larger outer bag that you've got the back there with all that area for laptops or whatever it is that you're wanting to pop it in there you can do comes with a double opening zip which is included within your kit as well lovely uh, metal teeth there the most amazing webbing to create your handle your long body handle handle there as well as your smaller carry handles and then you're also going to get that fabulous faux leather in that beautiful berry tone that we've seen and you're going to get um, obviously all the components that you need now the actual poppers themselves because they are particular to your popper machine they're not included are they no, kind they're of just not. The, the clips the hardware that you would expect is in there mm. um, so uh, yes if you've got invested in one of those already then you don't have to worry you'll have all of those bits and pieces but of course the modular system that we're looking at and I have to say Nicola it's a brilliant idea this this connectivity and um, connectivity so to speak connect can't get me teeth right mm. but this I think it's a brilliant idea thank you brilliant because mm -hmm. the idea being is the smaller accessories which you can get a pattern for will fit in all your different bags um, going forward um, and we're gonna see more from Nicola I know we are because it's such a clever idea and these will clip in and clip out so you can then take that off maybe to the Charlotte bag we were looking at earlier mm -hmm. on and clip that one in place and then when you're wanting to use this one um, you come back to the wonder bag and then clip it to your wonder bag mm -hmm. I love it brilliant idea um, two different kits available for your wonder bag we've got the car key that we're looking at here with that lovely berry um, faux leather. You're not going to get the pattern for the components that we're looking at here, but we have got the pattern available for those if you want to go shopping for that. But the pattern itself is available by itself or it is part of the two different kits that we've got for you. So just to reiterate, the kits that you're going to choose from is either the khaki that we just looked at with that fabulous animal print 
with the burgundy tone in there and the khaki outer. You've got your H640 in there as well, which is going to help you create that foundation for your bag. But all of the findings that you need, you don't have to go looking for any of these. Nicola has sourced these and they are incredible quality, so you don't need to go looking anywhere for those. That is the first of your two options. Um, pattern is available by itself as well, or... I think I've got a hankering towards the denim because I do like working with denim um, and I, I do love a denim jacket, so this would be perfect. So it's got the most incredible, incredible webbing. I mean, look at that. It is brilliant. And that is going to create that crossbody um, strap as well as your little carry handle straps. Brilliant quality that is in there. Um, and Nicola, you said you've got more of these fancy webbings oh, to come. I have, I have. They're Ooh, gorgeous. Can't wait. Love it. So you've got that in there. You've got your bias tape because you're going to be covering some of those seams on the inside. You've got all of your bag findings. You've got your copper faux leather in there and the most incredible weight denim there as well. So all brilliantly coming together for £49.99. And, and of course, full instructions. And as we get into the new year, lovely Nicola has got a work cut out for her because she's going to be doing videos with these I as am. well yeah my new year's resolution for the new year good for <laughs> you I, I i haven't even started i haven't done last year's new year's oh, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. i'm just a hopeless case um so there you go um two items all under the same item number because quite often we usually tell you you've got two different numbers dependent on the style of the kit you're going for but they're both under the same item number so when you actually shop on the website there's a little drop down box that says colour. Click on the little arrow there and you'll get your khaki or your blue option. And then you just add to your basket and away you go. I think it's tricky to decide between the two, to be fair, because they're both brilliant, to be fair. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I can't help you with that one. <laughs> but I've got a hankering towards the denim. So there you go, details on your screen, UOL208, if you are shopping for that. If you want the pattern by itself, then you will find that on the website. So, uh, yeah, you can shop for it that way too. So, Nicola, should we come back over to you? Yeah. What have we got going on? So, I can either. Do you want to see some more poppers? Because, I don't mind. Yeah. yeah. Oh, since we've got the tool available, yeah, oh, yeah so, why not? <laughs> um, I'm going to do the other side of the popper now, and this is to go on the back of the front of the Wonder Bag okay. as it clips on. And also because I think it's something th quite therapeutic about doing these. <laughs> so I've got my piercing tool back on. I'm just going to line up the three holes. Make sure they're... See, it's quite a satisfying sound that it makes. It's a good solid sound. It I is. Say, it's yeah. Great tool. There we go. It's a click of confidence. Oh, it really is. And the nice thing about this tool is that it's got some depth there, so you can oh, move that's a good point. and yeah. you can pull your products in. Lovely. So just make sure you've got the marks where you need it to go. Yes. Um, I've got full instructions on how to place and where to place the marks. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm just going to pop the other side of the attachment in. And I'm guessing as time goes on, there's going to be loads of different attachments to go with this. Yeah, apparently so. Mm. I haven't investigated it all enough, but... It's a good tool. Yeah. If you do want to go for the tool, by the way, £84.99. And um, if you fancy shopping for it, add it into your basket. Obviously, if we can bring those extra bits and pieces as time goes on, we will do. But it comes with elements to start with. Yeah, it, it absolutely it does. You yeah. Um, you can also get, obviously, sewing poppers. Um, uh, the attachable poppers um, like this do come with their own tool as well. Uh, but okay. at the moment, I'm loving this. It's been... <laughs> <laughs> I can see us not getting it back. It's one of the, I often say that to people, that if it's, it's a tool that you've used, would you give it back? That shows kind of the, the authenticity of wanting mm -hmm. to keep it and I think that's the situation with this you wouldn't would you see how easy it is to work with mm -hmm. okay so I want the poppers on the outside of the fabric there we go so that's going to clip on to the corresponding piece on the other side I've just got two actually I think one went missing in my journey from the south oh no 
<laughs> oh, yeah, I've much of a journey to do today. Or new I came, friends, yeah, my night. friend lives 10 minutes away, so um, but it's about three and a half hours. Oh, that's quite a journey back. Yeah. Are you going straight home? I think? Yeah, oh. I'm quite used to the journey. I used to work um, for Cadbury's in the Midlands. So. Oh, did you? Yeah, so I'm I quite used to know that. <laughs> well, so, I was going to say, there's a lot of people, I know Ben in my ear was just saying that he used to work, and my mum was there at a point. Like, oh, really? <laughs> um, yeah, it's yeah, a big employer in the local area. Yes. Really is that one? I wasn't looking. I was wasn't paying attention on that one. But basically, that would I've just squished the top, so it oh, won't go sorry, back. Oh, that's on. me. That's yeah. all right. I wasn't got distracted paying. by chocolate. It I always get so often. <laughs> <laughs> I always get distracted by chatting. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so basically, once you've mastered the poppers, um, yeah. these I'm. My ideas are that these will also pop off and pop onto other bags. So are there going to be other bags that we see with this? Ah, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so if you like the idea of those bags popping on and off, other bags coming will have that <laughs> pop on, pop off feature as well, which is really clever because it means you could actually make your favourite then, couldn't you, and take it with you. The idea being with the Wonder Bag, you're almost making two bags at the same time. So you've got your large carry-all bag. On this occasion, it's the khaki. If you like the idea of a denim version, then we have got the denim kit available to you. The berry um, faux leather, that is included alongside the khaki. But of course, if you get both bags, it might be that you're swapping that over and having it with your denim um, a, a larger bag and swapping them backwards and forwards because you can do that. They all connect with these fabulous poppers. So that's why it's worth investing in that prim tool because you'll be using that a lot as time goes on. And then, of course, the beauty is that um, you could take that off, going that out, out, then you would take that, leave that behind. Um, and then when you come in, in, you can pop it back into place onto your larger outer bag very easily. And then you're not losing anything. Brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. I love it. Fabulous idea. Um, the pattern itself uh, explains everything. But as you've seen, I mean, Nicola's such an amazing teacher, isn't she? She knows all the lingo. She knows how to break it down. She's added all that additional information in as well. So those, that situation when um, an idea or a thought's popped into Nicola's head, she's popped it in the instructions as well. So I like that. So learning all along the way. So there you go. You wonder bag. Two options. You've got your khaki, you've got your denim, and you've got your pattern with both of those, or the pattern is available by itself as well. Um, very quickly going to mention the other kit that we've got available to you as well, because this is a lovely one. There's still time for you to actually make these up as gifts, I think. And the tuition that you're going to get within this kit, it's invaluable because you'll be using all your own stash with these. So the kit itself will enable you to create two fabulous projects. So you've got your headscarf with that twisted look, which is very, very stylish. I do like that. Very lovely oh, look. I think it's one of those ones that you'll find yourself making in all sorts of fabric as time goes on. So within the kit, you've got enough to make that. You've also got your infinity scarf, which you can't make too many of these, can you? No, no. They're just brilliant to yeah, go over. They are, they are yeah, easy to throw on and keep you warm. And Absolutely. So you've got that loop of fabric there. So the idea being you can twist this round and wear it round your neck almost... Well, it just keeps you cosy, doesn't it? Keeps you cosy. I can quite often wear a, um, a scarf and not take a jacket because if your neck's yeah. warm, then you tend to be warm all over, don't mm -hmm. you? And this has got the most amazing plush fleece on it. It's beautifully soft. It is just so, so soft. I would rub my face against it, but probably end up with loads of makeup on there, so I'm not <laughs> going to. But I can assure you, it is beautifully soft. Um, and it also has got that most amazing fabric, um, Lewis and Irene, with a little tiny... It's almost like little kind of smattering of snow. Yes. Cute. Like that a lot. Now, within your kit, you're actually getting loads within the kit, way more than you need, because obviously you've got the pattern, which is in, it's one of those things you need to get hold of that. $7.99, I think the pattern is by itself, but that means that $12.99 for everything else that you get in here, which I think is brilliant, because you have got way more elastic than you're going to need. So that's going to make not only your first, but potentially another three or four of those heads, um, headbands. So that's in there. Um, you've got three fat quarters of beautiful Lewis and Irene fabrics. And they've all got that connecting feature of the little dots. They have. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're absolutely perfect to work together, Nicola. These are gorgeous. Yeah, they're so beautiful, aren't they? Really wintry. And Pretty, yeah, and they've got a lovely feel to them. Mm. 
really, really nice. The little kind of um, dots that you've got, I'm hoping that you can pick that up on the, the screens there. You've got little kind of um, almost like um, pearlescent finishes with those, yeah. aren't they? Really pretty with the little bells, that, um, berries there, as you can see. So really, really effective, really pretty fabrics. And, oh my goodness, you're going to be stroking this fabric for ages. It is just so soft. So soft, it's beautiful. So all of those fabrics in your box, beautifully packaged when you receive it. And of course, you're gonna get your pattern in there as well. So a fabulous gift to give to somebody, whether you're making them up and giving them the finished item, or whether it's in fact that you're actually giving them the kit themselves. So whichever way, it's all wrapped up in beautiful tissue. So the minute that you open that box, you get that sense that you've got something special that you're gonna be crafting. Oh, I forgot the elastic. Put that back in as well. <laughs> so that is all in there as well, creating your two fabulous projects, as you can see there. So that is another item that you might want to add into your basket. Details are up on your screen if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, Nicola, should we come back to you for another demo? Yes, what I'm not planned. I thought I might show you how to create the twist on the twisted headbands. Oh, that'd be lovely. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I've um, cut out my fabric piece and I've got the lovely plush fleece. So it's really quite simple to create the twist. I'm going to put the two fabrics right sides together. Just grab a couple of clips. And all I'm going to do is sew down each of the lengths. Lovely. Quilt mm -hmm. clips as well, don't forget. Um, we had a deal for the quilt clips earlier on. I don't know if we've still got them. So. Um, 50 quilt clips we were doing for 6 99 earlier on. I don't know if they, have we still got them? Oh, we have still got them. So, yeah, if you missed out on these, we've not got a huge quantity left of them now. And this is brilliant because you've got a little pack. Um, you've got 50 of those quilt clips in there, invaluable with any sewing project, I have to say. Um, they look huge there, actually, <laughs> don't they? Um, but, yeah, um, 6 It's not often we bring them to you at that price, but it's our way of saying thank you for bearing with us today. So, uh, yeah, pop those into your baskets if you're wanting to take advantage of them. Okay, so... It's a bit noisy because it's, <laughs> it's the quilting foot. But like I said, it, especially with the bottom fabric being so slippery. Yes. Any tips for sewing with that? I'm guessing the walking foot helps. Yeah, actually. the walking foot really. Um, it does, it keeps everything together. Um, yeah, it helps you keep the straight lines. Probably put a few more clips in if you're not sure. So a few clips or pins just to hold the layers together. Perfect. And just take them out as you get to them. Yeah. So my husband was watching TV the other evening when I was sewing with a walking foot and I wasn't popular. Oh, is that what on earth are <laughs> <you> doing? No. <laughs> they do make a bit of a commotion. Okay, so just the other side. It's not often I make a noise, so I love it. I, I love the sound. <laughs> I, to say. All, I don't know. I just love that. If I could roll my R's, I would replicate the noise, but I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's a hereditary thing. Rolling your R's and rolling your tongue, I think. From what I understand. Unless somebody just told me that and they were winding me up, which does happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to turn this inside out. Okay. That white looks lovely against doesn't that, doesn't it? Doesn't it just, yeah. Lovely. Okay. Then we're going to fold the two short ends together. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to we're not going to place them directly on top of each other. We're going to place them just like this so that they're okay. halfway on and halfway off. Right. And then we're just going to fold one over the top. Okay, just make sure my seams are, yeah, you probably want to give it a bit of a press before you go ahead and do this, just to make okay. sure your seams will lie nice and flat. And then talk. There we go. There's a bit of wrestling. Yeah. Get it in place. Tell it who's boss. <laughs> okay, so fold one over one section and then I'm going to fold the other one over this way. And then I'm going to sew that together. And this is where the walking foot does come in handy because there are quite a few layers here and it That's is quite it, bulky. Yeah. 
So slightly longer stitch, maybe? Or yeah, that's a good idea. But it does seem to really go through like quite effortlessly. Yeah. And I think the kind of the plush fabric is quite spongy, isn't it? So although it's got the loft there, it just squished down as you're sewing. Um, walking foot's going to help though. So if you've not got one of those, have a little look on the website because they're, they're always useful to have, mm. to be fair. Okay, I'm just going to trim those seam allowances down. Nice sharp pair of scissors because they're <laughs> quite bulky. There we go. Ah, oh, there's the twist. And there's your little twist. Lovely. So all you're going to do now to finish it off is um, you're going to cut down the middle of there. Okay. So. Oh, because of the elastic and yeah. going in. Oh, if this, you can make, if you were making this out of a jersey, a stretch fabric, you wouldn't need to add the elastic. Okay. But we want it to be comfortable on everybody's heads and to feel like it moves. So I'm just going to snip down the middle and then turn under the ends and apply your elastic. And that's all explained in the instructions again, so um, you don't mm -hmm. have to worry. Um, so once you've got that twist, which mm -hmm. uh, clever way that that comes together actually, isn't it, that twist? So uh, yeah, uh, again, it's a skill, it's a technique that you will go on to use many, many times afterwards, I should imagine, but you've got that lovely twist that you can see there. Obviously the fabulous detail of that um, kind of plush fabric underneath, but um, it's just a nice touch, isn't it? It's like a designer touch, I think, with that. Mm -hmm. um, the elastic, obviously you're gonna learn how to put that in place. The kit um, has got everything that you need in there, including your elastic, and when you consider that's the elastic that's been used. That's the elastic that's in your kits. You are going to be able to go on and create many more of those, I am sure. So, yeah, more than enough elastic in there. Good, solid elastic as well there. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be brilliant. Because this is the other thing as well. I got some elastic out that I've had literally years. And it will deteriorate over time, won't it? Mm. So it, you, you pull it and then it doesn't go back. <laughs> so, yeah, you, it can. If you've had it for a long time, then find that it, it loses its elasticity. I think that is the phrase. But there you go. With this one, top-notch quality and more than enough for your project. Two projects in this kit. So you're going to create your fabulous twisted headband. And then, of course, you're going to be able to create that fabulous infinity scarf alongside it. Both of which are detailed in your instructions. So there we go. Details are on your screen. You've got um, three different types of fabric within your kit, including the one that you've just shown us, mm -hmm. which is beautiful. Is. All Lewis and Irene fabric, so uh, nice and easy. So yeah, really, really pretty. Love mm -hmm. those as well. Um, so there we go. Another project that's going to be under your belt. Don't forget, if you're wanting to shop for your Wonder Bag kits, we have got those available as well. Um, might do a little bit of a recap on those, actually. Um, I don't, Nicola, have you got another demonstration? Anything you wanted to share with us? I have got a little one tucked up my sleeve. If you wanted another well, one. <laughs> I will give you a moment to get yourself yep. ready then, and I'll tell you lovely people about these kits. So this is um, the second in a series of patterns that we're going to see from Nicola. Um, she's been with us before demonstrating for other companies, but on this occasion, she has gone it alone and she's making her own bag patterns. And we saw a lovely little um, bag earlier on at, um, where am I, 10 o'clock was the show. So yes, go back and watch that show if you're wanting to. Um, but this hour, we've been concentrating on the Wonder Bag. And it is wonderful. It's huge. Plenty of room for all your goodies in there so I'm thinking that if you're going off to college um, you might utilize that area that you've got in there for putting your laptop in there it could be a tablet that's going in there it could be a lunch that's going in there there's plenty of room you can put whatever you like in there and everything that you need to make your bag is included you're also going to start seeing this feature and this is something that Nicola's going to be bringing to us time and time again where you've got these connective elements now these are brilliant because these are designed so as the accessories that you're making from Nicola's range can attach to your bag and you can literally take them out and put them into another bag as you go. So the little bag that you've got on the front, which detaches, there you go. If you wanted to take that off and leave, oops a daisy, take that off with you, leave that one behind, you can do. Instantly you've got everything that you need within that bag. But what about if you want to take these pieces with you and not necessarily take the whole bag with you? Well, all you need to do is unclip them. So you can see, unclip like so. That means that they are now loose and they can then go 
into your larger bag. So it could be that your keys are getting attached over there with your key fob, your little purse with your essentials in there, your credit cards, your, your coins, that can attach there. And that way, you know, just by simply swapping those over from bag to bag, you're not going to leave them behind. That is the key thing. So many times we do that. Now, this little du duet that you've got here is available on a pattern together. So you've got the ability to make your little coin purse. You've even got your little slots in there for your different bank cards. They can feature in there. So that's $7.99 if you're wanting to shop for that pattern. And those little accessories are going to be so, so useful. Now, you will find more of those accessory patterns coming as time goes on because that's what Nicola is going to be doing. And she's also going to be looking towards the new year to make some fabulous videos to illustrate how the bags come together and the beauty of this one is that those can go back into your little bag that then attaches to the front because the poppers will allow you to do so how fabulous is that it is a really really clever idea so we've got two different variations of the wonder bag We've got the car key, which is the one that we've just been looking at. And the car key kit has got everything that you need in there, bar the poppers for you to actually secure the bags because obviously you need to invest in the tool that will allow you to do that. But you've probably already got one, to be fair. Comes with a double pulley zip with metal teeth in there. So incredible quality. The most amazing webbing, as you can see, included in there as well. You've also got a fabulous supply of your bias tape because you're going to neaten the edges of your lining utilising that. You've got incredible bag hardware because, of course, those are key for you making those anchoring points for your different accessories to go to. And then you've got your gorgeous berry lining as well as your car key that you've got there. So, uh, yeah, and you've got your H640, of course. And you are going to get... I've forgotten in here. We haven't got the... Um, the faux leather, which you will get to make your um, little bag as well. So that's in that particular one. Different colour option, though. If you're wanting to go down the denim route, then here we go. I mean, look at that. That is my reason to buy this kit, because that is amazing. So you're getting loads of that in there to create your strap, as well as your little hand um, carriers. You've also got your double-ended zip in a similar way with the metal teeth, your bias tape. You're also going to get your copper faux leather, because that's the colour of the bag that you're going to be making that you can tear off the front and take with you but then you got the most amazing denim so those two together I mean that's a classic look imagine putting that strap on there as well oh gorgeous um, you're also going to get your findings in there as well so they're all included as is your H640 to put it all together and needless to say you're going to get your pattern with your instructions in there and everything that you need to know. £49.99, pence. two different options under the same item number. You decide which of those two you're wanting to go for. Um, but you can shop for the bag um, um, pattern by itself if you're wanting to and incorporate your own fabrics. But don't forget, with the kit, you've got all of the components. I mean, where would you go and find webbing like that? I wouldn't even know the first place to start. So that's my reason that I would want to go for the kit. $49.99, brilliant value for me, and loads of fun to be had. Talking about loads of fun, we've got about 10 minutes or so left. So um, okay. what would you like to show us in that time? I thought I'd just do a little project, which is the key ring fob. Oh, um, perfect. Thank <laughs> you. It's quite a nice, straightforward little project. And it's, um, yeah, I find it quite therapeutic sometimes to just do something that's nice and simple. It's like a breakaway project. It is. It? Yeah. it is. With a cup of tea, listening to the radio. Nice idea. <laughs> so I'm going to use just a little tiny bit of the faux leather. And I've got this little attachment, um, which, um, yeah, it's for um, attaching oh, like to the... Yeah, yeah, it's like a little clip, and it's got the key ring attachment to it. Okay. I'll keep that aside. Okay, so we're just going to sew these right sides together. Lovely. And I'm just going to go across the top and down the sides. Wonderful. Are you familiar with the prim turning tools? Um, I am, yeah. Because I've never used one oh, before, well, so I was hoping you might be able. To... Time with you then. I hope you might be able to show me. Oh, I'm, I'm always up for an invitation to come over to the demo <laughs> area. <laughs> Fabulous. So again, the pattern will explain all of the seam allowances and everything that you need to yeah. know. Okay, just going to clip corner. Oh. 
Now, my top tip is, um, especially if you're working with something that's got quite a substance to it, like the faux leather, that you don't have too much of a seam allowance. So, I mean, you could trim that down a little bit if you wanted. Yeah. You, potentially, you're okay with it as it is. If it was a, a cotton weight fabric or something like that, then you don't have to worry so much about actually cutting through it. So, sorry, turning it through. I thought you were over there. You're not. You're over there. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. So the idea is now we've got this duo of tools and they actually come as you've got your tubes and your inner uh, Ella's, um, elements. So you've got L for large and M for medium. Now the idea being is you would take the outer tube and you would pop that inside whatever it is that you're turning. I think I'm doing it this right way around anyway. Now, if mm. it's a little bit too tight, then what you can find is you use the other one. So we'll give that a go. But you just have to be uh, bear in mind that the actual fabric itself, you need to kind of be able to turn through as well. So we're going to pop that like so. And then the idea is that you will basically put, create a little kind of element like so. This is the way I use it. I've never read the instructions, you know, so I don't know. I might be doing it the wrong well, way. I'm using just a chopstick at home and turning so yes, with a yeah. chopstick. Whew. But the, the, I was getting a bit annoyed. It's just <laughs> a, literally, it's a case that you kind of push it into the tube. Oh, okay. So push it right the way through. So make it go right down into the bottom. Because you've got that kind of grippiness of the, the faux leather. Sometimes you have to kind of give it, yeah, wrestle it into place. Definitely a tricky one. To it turn. is. And then you basically, you'll push it with the, um, the tube. Um, and then push it through. Just be careful because obviously you've got quite a substantial fabric with this. So what you can actually do, you kind of find there's different techniques of how to do it. But what you'll actually do is kind of bunch it up and push it through at the same time. So, yeah, it's quite, I think because of it being faux leather, you've kind of got it, um, it's gripping onto the tube. Yeah. But quite I often, what's happening, you just, yeah, you, you kind of manage to peel it back and, and do it that way but usually you would push your fabric through and obviously because it's gripping onto the tube there it's not happening in the way that you would normally want it but it would bunch but up easier and then push it through doing. there you go but I mean it's a different method I'm turning it around <laughs> using that top one there actually so the the tube or the the, the wooden um skewer so to speak is doing it in a slightly different way but yeah basically you would t take that and you would turn it through but because it's just because it's a faux leather that it's a bit grippy so you probably do that and then continue to do afterwards there there you go so you, ah. you can do it it's just a case that you might have to change your own technique in order to do it but there you go got there in the end you did thank you there you go see i gave it to my son the other day when i was making one i said james just do this for me <laughs> and he's like okay i'm doing my homework forget your homework i need to <laughs> this is important <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it depends on the fabric that you're working with um and then yeah you just kind of give it a bit of a wiggle and it sets in place and there you go mm. so yeah okay there thank you go you. you're welcome <laughs> Oops, pop that back. Don't lose your, your um, skewers. I think we've got that. Have we got it on the screen? Yeah, so you've got your two different turning tools. I've put them back to, together in the wrong order. There we go. Just be careful because if you have got quite a sturdy fabric, you don't want to risk actually breaking those skewers that you've got in there as well. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to do some top stitch lining um, okay. lines down. So I'm going to start with the central one. Lovely. And I'm literally eyeballing this just to... There we go. And what I like about this leather or pleather is that once you've top stitched on it, it really does look professional. It does, yeah. Well, it's professional grade, isn't it? Really? Oh, it really is. Fabric. Yeah. Okay, so that's one line. Lovely. And then I'm going to do another one the other side. These are great as little Christmas gifts. You could. Um, they make nice little um, kind of table gifts as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, or go into stocking your fillers. Crackers and things. Well, that's a good idea. I oh, should put a mini bottle of gin in our crackers. Oh, I'm going to add yours for Christmas lunch. That sounds like a good place to be. <laughs> and then just one more the other side. Lovely. And again, it's these little finishing touches, isn't it, that gives you that professional finish. That's the key thing. Mm -hmm. She's beautifully. I mean, it's going through like really a dream, does. isn't it? Yeah? I've had no problem sewing with this at all. And I find, you know, with the right needle, with the foot, it just goes together so lovely. So there you go. That's your little key fob. Lovely. Just going to trim those little th 
threads off. Um, incidentally, in the tools hour that we had just before this one, we were talking about different um, needles and there was a whole selection of Schmetz needles, including Schmetz needles, including um, a leather one, which you could actually use for these projects as well. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, so, and then the raw edges get tucked inside. There's some little grips inside of there, okay. which holds it all together. It's going to be naughty and use, oh no. You got in. it, wiggle it in. Yeah, I'm going to be naughty and use my scissors to just open it up a bit. I should okay. have bought a toolbox. Well, sometimes it's pliers and things. Oh, we didn't, yeah. don't worry, we were looking Thank the other way. I usually blame my children if my scissors are blunt. She should do as I say, not do as I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So that just goes in. And then you can press it tight. Perfect. And again, if you've got some, is it pliers? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I never know the names of tools. I just know the, what they squeezy do. Squeezy things. <laughs> the squeezy <laughs> things, just to press that in tight. And then you've got your that little That looks loop fabulous. Off. How amazing is that? <laughs> that looks so professional. Incredibly finished, beautiful, I love it. And of course, if you need to know the dimensions, then check out the instructions that we've got for your accessories because this is a separate pattern that we've got for you on the show as well. So yeah, really easy for you to be making the accessories that then clip in place to your different bags, your range of uh, bags, should I say as well, that we're <laughs> gonna see from Nicola as time goes on as well. Not range of fags, range of bags. <laughs> Am I, am I slurring? Is it that? It's been a long morning. It's been morning. a long morning for It's you. been a long morning as well. So, yeah, I don't even smoke, but there you go. So, it's adding to your range of bags. There you go. So, these are going to clip in place. Now, do go back and watch the shows. Of course, we had the fabulous show earlier on at 10 a.m. That's when we were introduced to the Charlotte bag. So, make sure you go and have a little look at that one. This hour, we've been learning about the Wonder Bag. And then, of course, all of the accessories as well as the headband and that fabulous infinity scarf. I'm going to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, Nicola, you've been amazing. Congratulations on everything that you brought to us. So, Thank yeah, you. looking forward to everything else. So, um, do we know when you're due back again yet? Have you got a date I yet? I haven't got a date yet, but I'm hoping January. They will be on. Yeah. You. Get Christmas out the way. I know. Oh, yeah. yeah, don't... Just, I was going to say, just let the, just tell it. I'm very busy. I can't come in the uh, rest of December at all. But yeah, have a lovely Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. And a wonderful New Year. Thank you. And uh, yeah, enjoy your time with the family. Thank and you.